Hey everyone, Slayer here to introduce Nasty and Friends from BDC Studios, a podcast where two friends who met in the Army Reserves get together and talk about shit. One's a firefighter, and the other has a funny laugh. So sit back, get rid of your kids, and hold on to your because it's about to get nasty, friends. Welcome to Nasty and Friends, with Pag Nasty and Spicy Motherfucking Brown. Shh. You hear that? What is that? What the fuck is that? Boom, motherfuckers! Oh. Episode 14! That's what that noise is. The best fucking podcast on the interwebs. I'm your co-host, Pag Nasty. And Nasties, don't think we're slipping. Bottles are popped. We're in BDC Studios record lights on. And I'm sitting across from one of the sexiest motherfuckers ever, Spicy Brown. How's it going, man? Hey, oh my god, dude. Dude, I'm, I'm in such a good mood. We'll get into everything that's going on. We'll get into what's going on this weekend. We'll get into what's going on tonight. I just want to say I'm fucking pumped to be with you, to be recording again. Uh, motherfuckers thought we fell off. Fuck, we're still up in this bitch. <laughs> we're Man. back. We're Set back. the scene. Like I said earlier, we're in BDC Studios. Um, you know we got YouTube playing. You know it. I <laughs> know it. <laughs> like mute on the background. We just got sand volleyball. We just got done fucking uh, practice safe sets. Got done killing it on the court yeah. tonight. I was yeah. a, a guest. I appreciate you letting me uh, let me play tonight. It was awesome, oh my dude. God. Uh, we two and like it's the best of three games. We won the first two games. So yeah. yeah, dude. So so the team practice safe sets. It got formed. I, I was we were sponsors and I was an alternate. Yeah. Uh, you got a shirt. You're all. You're a sponsor. You're an alternate too. I've been able to play out of the last three out of the four games. This will since you live in KC. This is the only game you got to play. But I'm glad you got to play. Yeah. And absolutely. yo, it's for people listening. My man was fucking balling. All right. Balling. Yeah, I haven't played in a while. I wasn't that great. Let's not really get no, too no, excited. Dude, <laughs> but for not playing for a while, it was awesome. It was awesome. Well, <clears throat> before we get in and to things too deep um we like uh, as you know um you know the 20 fans that listen to <laughs> every podcast you know we like to do uh um, like we like to repeat so keep themes through it so yeah. i figured we keep a theme right now and uh, just start off the podcast with some good old-fashioned dick sucking yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. what i mean by that is uh, <clears throat> uh we're gonna go uh, a little deep here so just stay with me here so um there's a million things that we can talk about, but yeah. I, just, I wanted to start off on the right foot here. So, um, as you know, and as uh, people listen to know, the reason why I wanted to, to do this podcast uh, was just to get together, yeah. share our stories, know where we're at in life, yes. you know, like what our opinions are. We try to talk about, like, yeah. you know, current updates. And so it's always there. Um, as I've said before, I'll probably say a million more times, everybody knows that uh, my uh, dad passed away from cancer about five years ago or so. And there's a million people that I can thank to help to help myself and my family get through that. I mean, I don't if I start naming it, I, I'll just keep naming it. But uh, there's a couple people at the top of the list. It was more. Uh, I mean, obviously there are friends, but uh, I feel that uh, like yourself and Ernest, you didn't obviously take over like for my dad, mm -hmm. but like it was just I kind of like saw you guys as that. Okay. So um, so I just I, I know I thanked you before, but I want to thank you again. And so it makes this even like way better. I called Ernest on the way up and talked to him, but uh, it's been hard like all day being around you, not telling you this, yeah. but as of Monday, JPAGs is 13 weeks pregnant. Oh shit, <laughs> dude. Oh, it's a, shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's been like she was pregnant at Harris's wedding. If you notice, she like didn't drink. Like it, oh my it, god, dude. It couldn't, I, it's so hard. That's why I like didn't really like talk to you, so. I mean, I just, I, I'm so Come here, man. excited. Oh, dude, I love you, man. Seriously. It's been oh, hard. <laughs> That's why I said it's been hard. Uh, you know, like, I just wanted to, like, tell you, like, all yeah, fucking no. day. And no, I, like I said, I, I called Ernest. I called Long. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Long was like, he's like, what if he acts in the exact opposite of how you think he's going to react? <laughs> and I was like, well, I'll probably just switch the subject. Like, how about that Pokemon <laughs> Go? <laughs> oh, Jesus, dude. But uh, for people who can't see, like, I want this for my memory down the road. I don't mean to call you out, but you're tearing up a little bit. Yeah, I'm no. like fighting back my emotions. Um, you're the, like, it sucks that you're the last person because you're one of the first people that I wanted to talk oh, about besides dude. family, but I want it to be on the podcast. Like, cause yeah. I want this for moments like this and, uh, it's just, I'm so fucking excited, man. 
Oh my God, dude, I'm excited for you guys. Let, yeah. let me let me let me bring it back a minute. So, uh, we like like Pat said, bear with us, ladies and gentlemen. We got a lot of shit we want to talk about. We got some good shit we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about what's gonna what's gonna happen this whole weekend. We're gonna talk about what happened earlier tonight. This is a fucking bombshell. <laughs> this was unexpected. I did not expect this. Uh, for okay, so first off, fuck it. I don't just stop me if I ramble because no. I got a lot to say. So tonight already was a big deal for me because uh, it's summertime. Mm-hmm. Everybody's busy. You live in KC. Uh, my daughter's in town. Everybody's busy. And, we it's, have, we and have, it's great uh, because I've never met your daughter. Never met her. Like, never met her. Fuck, I've been messing yeah. with her since I got oh, here. Yeah. She's fucking awesome. Yeah, she's she's awesome. fucking great. She turns 11 <clears throat> and nine days yeah uh, and and i also before you get i also yeah. want to thank you i was going to tweet it out yeah. but i like i literally deleted the tweets i wanted to tell you on the podcast yeah. um you know i'm from a very close family we had supper every night i appreciate you cooking supper night i sat down with you your daughter and your mom yeah first time i ever met your mom yeah. dude like i was in heaven dude. Oh, it was yeah. awesome to sit down yeah. we talked gave oh, each other yeah. crap it was beautiful so thank you for that yeah. too man I and that, that's, it. that's what i want to get to like uh it's, it's special for me so my daughter's in town She's one of my favorite people on the planet, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Uh, you're in town. You're one of my favorite people on the planet. Candace has been here. She's been hanging out. She's been helping us. Uh, she plays volleyball. She helps us write the questions and answers. She's one of my favorite people on the planet. Yeah. She's she's so good to me. She treats me like a king. Uh, she's awesome. She's, she's an amazing person. And then my mom's here, too. It's just like uh, to have that many <clears throat> awesome people around you yeah. is big time. Uh, it's just a special night. I... Uh, had a slumber party last night <laughs> with four ten year old girls. We'll get it. We can maybe get into that later. But uh, I woke up this morning, clean, kicked the girls out of the house because they're lunatics. And then uh, I started prepping a pot roast. It was going to be the best pot roast I've ever made. I think it was really good. I don't think it was the best pot roast I've ever made. It was made. good. It was good. It was a feast. It was a feast. So, so when Pags dropped this bombshell on me, uh, I'm so happy for these two uh, Pags and JPags because I, I still remember. I still remember. Uh, Years ago, and I, you know, I'm, I'm, I was gonna say sinister. I was cynical. Yeah. I would say cynical. Is that the right word? Might not be the right word. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been drinking. <laughs> we, have been, we started priming before saying volleyball, and then after, and then we drinking. We had some computer shit, testing, cleaning up. We've been drinking a little bit. But uh, I've been divorced twice. Uh, I've known love. I've known mm-hmm. hate, yeah, and absolutely. I've known uh, pain. And most of the people I know uh, get married. They get divorced. I've had, I've, I've been in people's weddings and I've told them like, don't do this. This is a mistake. This is, a, you know, don't like wait, hold up. A lot of times when people tell me they get married, I, I don't, I'm not really excited about it. I'm not, you know, honestly, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, good luck, you know, and whatever. And I've been in weddings. I've got, I go to weddings. Uh, most of the times I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Weddings suck. I like, I like receptions. So I like get drunk and fucking, yeah, absolutely. Hopefully they got good, good DJ, good music. Uh, but most of the time, that's how I feel. I feel like that. 50% of marriages, approximately, end a divorce. So when I hear about a marriage, I'm just like, eh, you know, good luck. You know, <clears throat> uh, with, you, with you and JPEGs, I, I knew you guys for years, for years before you guys got married. And I remember when you told me you were going to uh, get married, uh, I remember being excited. Yeah. You know, you had a plan. You had, you had a plan. You are going to go down to the beach. Uh, I remember where I was at, dude, when you told me. She said, yeah. I was in Chicago. I was in the hotel. Uh, me and Chop. <laughs> me and Chop. And uh, I was prepping for the... We had a test. It was Fire Inspector 2. And I remember being in the lobby. You called me and you said... I'm not going to lie, man. I teared up. Yeah. I was, I'm so fucking happy for you guys. And uh, yeah, when you... Yeah, it's just... It's... it's uh, no, it's fucking awesome. Man. Yeah. I... You, when you see two people and you, you know, mm-hmm. I, like, I don't want to start sucking their dick either, but, but, uh, it's okay. No, no, <laughs> I, I, I love you, dude. I love you. And when you said, uh, that I was kind of like a dad to you and I mean, fuck man, I love you, dog. We're, we're, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's the truth. Like I said, yeah. there's a million people I can thank to have, yeah. that helped me get through that, that period. And I, I don't want to start naming because I'm, I know I'm going to forget some because there's oh, that many yeah. people, but there's just. Like I said, like with you and Ernest, it um, you know just stuck out. It was like you obviously didn't feel the dad role, and I, you didn't no. expect it, but no. it was just that different. I yeah. looked up to you, you helped me out, and everything. Yeah. And so the fact that uh, I mean, obviously he can't be physically here. Mm-hmm. It's just like the. 
for me besides telling my brothers and family yeah. and the JPEX family. It's like the second best thing. Yeah. And it sucks that I waited so long um, to tell you, but like I wanted to do it on here. And I no, wanted no, to be a surprise. I love it. I love so everybody it. I'm telling, I'm like, just keep it off social media. Yeah. Like, you know, Spice is the last yeah. person I'm forcing them to tell. No, it's all um, good. You know, I, I called Ernest today. I'm not going to get in um, to anything there, but he, he had a pretty shitty day. Mm. And uh, so when I talked to him uh, today, he's like, dude, he's like, I, I fucking need <clears> great news. And that's yeah. awesome. Because I remember like when he, um, his wife's name is Jenny. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like when they had their second uh, kid, like I remember we just got back from 18. He yeah. found out and like, yeah. you know, called me. And so that's what, uh, yeah. you know, so I was just glad, glad I could tell you in person. Wow. It's a long haul. And the craziest part, which I absolutely okay. love this. So I don't know what the hell was in the water on the Pag Nano side, yeah. but you've heard me talk about my uncle, my uncle Frank, yeah. his daughter, it's his youngest daughter. So my first cousin, she's pregnant. Okay. She's due January 19th. Okay. Jen is due. Jesus so Christ. we're all within a week. That's and I am crazy. so fucking excited to yeah. be getting oh, another niece awesome. or nephew yeah. and a second cousin. And it's all within a week. I get like my mom's mind just like exploded because yeah. oh, it was yeah. like, you know, that's not my Yeah. Before. You know, they got uh, like, she's going from one grandchild to like two. It's, we had ultrasound. It's officially not twins, which is what I was hoping for. So, but, uh, uh, baby's perfect size, uh, baby's heartbeat. Um, <laughs> I don't like to call it it, like, yeah. you know, and we're not, I just want a healthy baby. I don't care. Obviously yeah. male or female. Um, if I had to pick, as we had a big gun in my head, I would like to have a male because on the Pag Nano side, straight bloodline and name, yeah. there's only five males who would like to pass it on. So I would yeah. like to at least see that, but it's not going to break my heart if I don't, you know? Yeah. Um, but it's, it's fucking, I don't remember where I was going, when I was saying, but it's, it's, it's fucking fantastic. I don't either. So. This took me by surprise. <laughs> like, it took me by surprise. Yeah. What, what's the percentage, like, uh, from zero to 100% that you're the father? Um, 50 50. <laughs> 50 50. That's good enough for me. Man. Yeah, that's yeah, good yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's. Uh, we get more COVID to love. Like, hey, Maury, we need you to. No, dude. Congratulations. Yeah, thank JPEX, you. congratulations. Appreciate... That's fucking huge. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm glad that we can put it on the open. We could talk about yes. it. So, like, I said, literally, like, all day, like, I just wanted to tell you. And so I was telling you, um, we. Talk about uh, talking about UFC 200. Yeah. Well, part of the reason why I didn't get a watch because I didn't want to buy it. Like we um, we went to this outside like musical, which I do love musicals and plays. But then like I canceled it, <laughs> and then Jay Pax wasn't feeling well because okay. at night is, it's really bad for her yeah. here. Um, and so like, we just went home and like chilled and hung out. But I was like wanted to tell you that, <laughs> but I couldn't because uh, I wanted to drop this bomb on you. Yeah. So. Dude, I don't, I don't even know where to go. I'm <laughs> fucking stuck. Yeah, stuck right because now. like, I mean, just a, uh, here's a little bit behind the scenes for you um, at Nasty and Friends. Like, usually when we uh, sit down and oh, oh, there it is. Okay, got it. It just stopped, so I just want to make sure yeah, it's yeah. recording. Smart. Um, yeah, we usually talk. We're like, hey, do you want to do the opening? Do I want to do the yeah. opening? And we'll go through there. And like, I texted you. I was like, I've been working on this opening. Like, uh, you know, I, like, is it cool with you that I do it unless you have something? You're like, no, no, you're good. And I told you it was going to be oh, pretty crazy. God, dude. So I told you just to follow me down the rabbit hole. Well, so. you, you, like, you opened it up, whatever. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is, this is cool. And then when you drop that, I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, that's so big, man. Yeah. That's so fucking big. And, like, like, like for me, like, yeah, I guess, like, and like I said, uh, yeah, most, most times people get married, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, good luck. You know, don't do it. Or I'll tell people, like, just don't do it. Just wait. <clears throat> What's a rush? Yeah. You're a young man. Uh, with you and JPEGs, I, I remember just being really happy for you guys because everybody that's around you knows how good you guys are together. And then uh, when she said yes, like I knew she would, I, I just remember. I, I remember, That's weird that I remember where I was at. Right. You know? Yeah. Uh, like this, I'll never forget this. Then it's on fucking yeah, recording. Yeah, I'm so, oh, it's I'm so happy. Awesome. I'm so it's, glad I decided to wait. Like, I almost yeah. cracked. Like, I just want to, like, ah! yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Just because I'm so excited. Like, I went to work today, yeah. and um, like, a couple people told me, like, you're a little different. Yeah. Like, uh, get back to the like, she <laughs> is. But, um, no, it's, it's been awesome. And I know people have kids, they go through it, but, you know, it's, it's that's what we're going through right now, oh, and it, I fucking I mean, love it. You're going to be a great dad. Jack is going to be a great mom. You, yeah. you guys are outstanding so. people. I hope so. Outstanding <laughs> people. That, that's fucking crazy. That's, yeah.
cam now? Uh, no, she doesn't. No, uh, I'm still recording. It looks like it, but it keeps freezing. Yeah. So if we stop, we're just going to keep trying to push through it. So I uh, just bear with us. Yeah, because I'm a shit actor. If we got to recreate this, <laughs> it's not going to be the same. Yeah, no, no, no. It, no, it should be okay. But yeah, it's, it's, it's like bogging down a little bit. It's slowing up. It's probably just doing an update or something. Yeah, something uh, I think it's good. I think it's <clears> good. All right. Yeah. All right, all right, so so we you explained the same volleyball going on in the background. Yeah. Uh, we talked a little bit. I don't even. I'm fucking gone now. So, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> we didn't talk much about uh, practice safe sets in the game today, did we? No, I don't. I don't think so. So Pax is in town. Uh, we're five games into the season. We're sponsoring a team called Practice Safe Sets Sand Volleyball. Uh, we started off great. Now, leading into the day, we were two and two, five hundred, which I don't like. <laughs> Came into the game today, my man Pat Nasty's in town. I'm an action alternate because of my work schedule and because I don't. This is my first time ever playing volleyball, but I'm an athlete, so I I try to ball. He killed it today. Not gonna lie. Oh, dude. No. So my man Pags <laughs> is like, uh, finally he's here. Like this is the only game he's gonna be in the season. So I'm like, dude, you know, we got three other guys. Uh, usually it's it's a six person league. We got nine people on our team. Everybody's work schedule. We got a cop, fireman. We got nerd, we got uh, all sorts of people on the team. We got our flight paramedics uh, that are riding the helicopter. We got people that can't take off of work. So uh, today we had nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah we had nine. Nine. So we were able to sub sub people in and one, out. And, like like one guy. As want. Yeah, one guy was out and like. Two yeah. extra. One guy. Guys. One guy was actually on AT in the army, mm-hmm. and uh, so Josh was here. He's yeah. not on the team. He's an alternate. Oh, okay. He, he's an alternate. So no, it was awesome. I think it worked. I think everybody got equal points. I mean, that's all, I mean, it's play. just we're we're there to have fun. Like, yeah, it, I, it, I played sand volleyball yeah. before, and it was a fucking blast. Was, I absolutely loved it. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it was good. It's just it's like that teamwork because oh, now that yeah. I'm no longer in the army, you have like work, and I don't really nah, consider that yeah. my teamwork. But you know, something like this, yeah. I just met everybody. Besides you and Cam, you're the only people that I knew. Met yeah. everybody else, and you know, kind of work together. So yeah. uh, I think you were probably getting to this point. But um, yeah, we smoked ass and won. Yeah. Best two or three, I think. We might have said this earlier. Won the first two sets, right. and then we lost the third one, which didn't count. Didn't so count. We won the game. We didn't so, have to play the third. We just played it for fun. Yeah. For you know. And, and everybody was pretty loose, and we were fucking around with the last night. But. So now the record's three and two, huh? Yeah, three and two. Oh. It's fucking good, man. Like, my man Pags is like, yeah, you know, I, I played sand volleyball. I, I haven't played in three years. I suck. Dude comes in here, he's fucking balling. I didn't see you making any mistakes. You fucking played <laughs> great. You might want to be one of the best people on yeah. the team. Just slid that Goldilocks Yeah, off. <laughs> no, it's fun, man. It, it was a lot of fun. Uh, everybody on the team is great. People are awesome. Uh, yeah, you were fucking balling. It's just a lot of fun, dude. Yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. It's great. It's awesome. Yeah, I wish I could make more. So, I mean, even if it's just to like hang out, yeah. you know, oh, until yeah. it was a beautiful night. Yeah, like, beautiful I could, night, couldn't man. have picked a better night. Yeah. Like it's, uh, I didn't think it was. It was a little chilly, but like once you started moving around, it was like oh, oh yeah, that thing. Yeah. So yeah, I probably a little chilly here. It's probably eighty <laughs> degrees, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some people were gonna, the only reason why I said this because there was a couple of emails yeah. that yeah. were uh, complaining that it was a little yeah. cold. Yeah, so. It's not crazy. <laughs> no, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm glad you got to see the team. Yeah, got, glad you got to meet everybody. Uh, Cam has hyped everybody up, sending <laughs> text messages saying, uh, the other half of Nasty of Friends is going to be here. Everybody, please act accordingly. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what the fuck is this guy? That's <laughs> awesome. You know, like, That's awesome. <laughs> so, no, it was good. It was fucking good. Dude. You're balling, man. <clears throat> you know? I just like oh. to have fun. Like obviously, anything that yeah. I do, I just like to have. Fun. Yeah, and like, so. like so, so like with Pags, uh, it, you know, most a lot of the people listening know him very well. Some of the people listening probably never met him. You don't know. Pags is a fucking fantastic. He's a great dude. Just a solid dude. Talk to anybody. Get along with anybody. So when I introduce him to people, sometimes I introduce him, and sometimes I don't. I just because if I don't, he'll introduce himself. He, to everybody, like he's just a good dude. So, so I just watch Pags uh, make friends with people, and he does it with ease. You know, he does it with like uh, Steph Curry fucking <laughs> making baskets. Like, it's easy. like he just, hey, I'm I'm Marty. You know, and people are like, oh my god, uh, the legend. They're hugging him. They're hugging, <laughs> him. They're hugging him. They're trying to give him hand jibbers and shit. Like he's it's effortless. He's effortless. He's got. Um, Get kung fu to block that yeah, shit all the time. Yeah, he's got like an aura around him. No, seriously, 
Pags, you're, you're just fucking, you're likable as fuck, dude. Oh, I appreciate that. No, seriously, man. Yeah. Like, like, so, like, some people I'd introduce them to, other people I would just sit and watch, and then Pags would be like, hey, I'm Marty. And they'd be like, hey, I'm so and so. And they would start a conversation and they would start talking about, uh, like, the goo goo dolls or whatever. <laughs> whatever. And the like, next thing you know, they're like, uh, oh my God, just, little Marty. Like, yeah, I know. Knee I deep in that shit, son. He's, he's, deep. he's just such a likable guy. He's such a good dude, man. So, uh, I, I'm off track. Thrown off my game. It's yeah, like I, I got kicked off my bike. I, I tried to tell you, you got to <laughs> stay flowing. with me, man. I'm, I'm flowing. I'm flowing. <laughs> so, we're in BDC Studios, all right? This is a big weekend for us. My man lives in KC now. We don't get along. We don't get together as much as you get along. As we, want to. <laughs> we don't get along. You <laughs> fuck this we guy. Hate each other uh, we did the prison calls. Uh, the last episode we dropped was the prison calls, and we did that because we wanted to try it out, and we had to. We had we had shit to get off our chest. Uh, we we wanted to. People are like, hey, when are you guys dropping shit. So we dropped that. It, it sounds like we're actually in prison, <laughs> like in prison and a collect call, like we're talking. But uh, uh, this weekend, we got shit planned. We got, we're recording tonight. This is Friday night. It's late night. It's almost 11 o'clock at night. We're going to drop, we're going to record two episodes tomorrow. We got special guests coming in. They're bringing in food. Uh, they're bringing in themselves. <laughs> and then Sunday... We might have even something more special dropped. I don't know if, if you want to talk about that. No, no. I think we should just we just let them bask in it. Okay, just, okay. Just try to figure out what it is. So, Sunday we got something really special planned. Something we have. Which I mean, we're yet. recording. If if all goes well, you're not going to hear it for another four, four weeks. weeks. So four we're weeks, talking yeah. like I mean, uh, late uh, uh, beginning of August. So, yeah, yeah, true, um, true. But yeah, I mean, that's uh, hopefully um, if everything goes well. Well, obviously this podcast is going to drop. Tonight slash morning by the yeah. time it gets done um, edited and all that shit. So it'll be there. And then we're going to have one for the next three weeks after that. Yeah. So, and then <clears throat> I don't know, depending on our schedule, we'll get it figured out. We may do another prison call in there, but yeah. it's going to be, uh, it's going to be fucking awesome. I don't know. Yeah. It, it may even be one of those things that if uh, one of the podcasts goes super, super long, we just cut it in half, yeah. you know, True. part one, part two. Yeah. So, so I just, I don't know. There's something in me that says tomorrow night we record it. it it, it's in the running for the best podcast yeah, that we're going to do for sure. I think so. I think so. Like I already had a good feeling like about like tonight, two podcasts to, uh, Saturday and then Sunday. Uh, you dropped a bomb on me, and so I'm still recovering. <laughs> but I'm still like, this is this is it doesn't get any better than this. Like uh, I'm I'm just super excited. Oh, I remember what I was gonna <laughs> tell oh, go, you. For, remember what I said? I forgot. Drop um, shit. Best. I was telling you how we don't like to call it it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so it's just like and a lot of people will do like just the initial the last name like baby P or whatever mm-hmm. but I, I told JPEX I was like we need to like I don't want to call it it like we just need to call it something and she's like well I don't know what do you want to call it and just jokingly I was like whatever like baby Geppetto and she's like I like it so like that's what we're calling and that's what I was saying it doesn't matter like male or female but yeah. until because we're going to do a gender reveal party and hopefully yeah. I can do one like with my brother his fiance, yeah. and you find out. But until then, we're just gonna call it Baby Geppetto. Like, that's what I was gonna I say. It, so, which I think is pretty funny. So, yeah, I love it, and I don't give a fuck what anybody else thinks because that's what we're doing at home. Oh, so, fuck everybody else. So, baby Geppetto. <laughs> Man, dude, that's so fucking good. I'm so excited. For yeah, you. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. So it, it's fucking great. So, um, I mean, that's a that's a solid twenty three minute opening. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so, I mean, we could get back to like what we we're gonna talk about, all the yeah. different stuff. But like I said, it's just uh, it's something that I wanted to drop here that I'll have forever. Yeah. And I, I feel I think I know you well enough that you appreciate it more than it was done here. No, I do. And, you I, know, do. I do. Like that. I do. So. Yeah, so January twenty second, mark your calendars, bitches. Yeah, yeah. Got another pack nasty in oh, this world. It's about time. <laughs> For about sure. Time. No, that's, <laughs> that's huge, man. That threw me off of, of everything. I'm so excited. <laughs> I was not ex- I, don't know, I wasn't expecting that, you know? Yeah. That's big time shit. Like man, fuck you. Yeah, I love you guys, man. Yeah. Like well, you guys are gonna be too. good parents and yeah, J Pack's gonna like how to shit pregnant. Oh yeah, she's know? starting to get that baby oh, bump. God, like I, I mean, I've noticed, but she's been like wearing like baggy shirts, yeah. and then I just like really noticed it. I was like, oh, I'm so excited, yeah. so excited. I just can't. It's beautiful. Oh love yeah, it. Love it. yeah. If you if you wanna like, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this for me. You don't have to do this for uh, nice and friends listeners. But if you wanna like post like pictures of you guys having sex, 
I'm like Instagram, <laughs> like do it, man. Like we I would think love that's to a, see that. I think that's against uh, two things. I think that's against the guidelines, and I think at least 99% of the people would throw up. No. <laughs> No fucking way, dude. No, they can't throw up. She's pregnant. Like, that's against yeah, the rules. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think you can post that kind of shit on Instagram, but just send it to the Nestor friends. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll watch it. I'll let you know yeah. what I think, man. I'll I appreciate you know it. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, that's word out to, to the all the nasties listening. Like, I mean, we do that, and we do that for each other. You know, if yeah. you want pointers, send it to nasty and friends at gmail.com. So, yeah. and, we, and we tweeted that. Like, if you're, if you're, if you made a sex tape, you don't. You want it like a like kind of reviewed before you load it to the interwebs. Send it to us. We'll give you a thumbs up, thumbs down. Give you pointers, whatever. But then, uh, yeah, we will give you an honest, no bullshit assessment, like what we think about your sex tapes. You know, we're we're ex- I'm an expert. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. For sure. All right. So let's let's get into so let's get into, let's try to get into some of the things we wanted to talk about. Some of the big things. Uh, we can go with the 4th of July. I know yeah. we talked about it a little bit leading up on the prison phone calls, but yeah, yeah, absolutely. 4th of July for you is huge. Uh, it's not as big for me. I, I, I get big in the 4th of July, but you guys go all out. Yeah, dude, uh, this year is, is a little different. It's fantastic. So um, uh, for like the longest time in the past 10 years, I would say my hair is the longest it's ever been. It's long as And uh, I like so I always like to do like an outfit or something for the 4th of July. So this year... Um, for one, I'm 100%. Uh, it's all about safety for sure. Like you have to be safe. Like I might have, I think I told this on the prison call where I was looking up and I got something in my eye. So ever since then, yeah. I wear safety glasses. I, had, <laughs> yeah, I always wear one like 24 or seven because you just never know. Yeah. Um, earplugs. I forgot them this year, which sucks, but usually earplugs. And then, um, <laughs> fuck, excuse me. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's just all about safety. And I, I never drink. It's usually like one to two drinks at most. Yeah. And it's like, I wait an hour before it's like, you, you never know. Hmm. And so, um, this year my outfit, so my hair is super long. So I <laughs> had like a, a star bandana on, I gelled up my hair to stand it straight up. I had the handlebar mustache with my safety glasses. And then I had like the synthetic shirt. It's like three wolves howling in the moonlight. <laughs> And it had a light American flag over it all. So that, that was my outfit. Just jeans and boots. <clears throat> um, down sa- uh, my hometown, it rained. Literally, like, we went out to my grandpa's lake at like 5 p.m., like quarter to 5, 5 p.m. And it fucking rained from there. Like hardcore pour all the way up until 8.45. <laughs> which, I mean, it does suck because we like do stuff for the kids. Yeah. And even there's some, still some people who like there's maybe like a little break in it. They still let off some parachutes, but it's still like, you know, raining. Yeah. It's kind of stupid, but I mean, it, you have to do it, like, yeah. you know, for the kids. So I got done that stuff. And then it, it did stop at a quarter to nine, which is like perfect to do like the little stuff. Yeah. And they get through the side and it didn't rain again. And we got through the whole finale and everything. So it was fucking, it was great. You know, my buddy Tommy, um, him and his fiance, Sarah, they fucking spent a shit ton of money. Like they went and bought, uh, <clears throat> actual, like, uh, all ones that go together, like a whole fucking set, like boxes, like you number one through 16, and then we okay. just like fuse them all together. So they bought, they each bought a set, and all then right. we fused those two sets together oh, for our finale. Oh, yeah. You know, JPEG's nice for money. Um, you know, shout out to my uncle who, for one, I mean, it's, it's his lake as well. He helped provide a bunch of food. Um, oh. You know, my cousin Carl, he spent a bunch of money on you know on fireworks and we just go all out anybody who just comes out and watch like it's, it's not about the money you just, just want to hang yeah. out and it's great you know that we can do all that shit so yeah. it's a it's a fucking blast so are you bailing on me already <laughs> piss off, keep, keep talking about the fourth, dude. I'm, I'm, yeah oh yeah dude no, no i keep the door open a little bit <laughs> hopefully we can hear you hopefully the mic <laughs> picks you up um, yeah, so I mean, it's the 4th of July. I've said it before, it's my all time favorite holiday. I just love what it stands for. I love just getting together, you know, the barbecuing. Um, you know, and anybody, also, big shouts out to anybody who brought food out. It, it's great. Um, you know, we have friends and family come every year. Um, next year is going to be pretty, uh, pretty epic. Uh, my uncle's getting married, and he's just going to get married out at the lake, I think is the plan uh, for now. So we're going to fucking have that great celebration, and then we're going to have all the fucking fireworks celebrations. So it's going to be off the fucking chain um, next year. Does anybody even say off the chain anymore? I don't know. But uh, no. It, it, <laughs> no? 
<laughs> it's it's gonna be awesome. I can't uh, I can't fucking wait. Um, you know, hopefully it, it, it's it's big for me. I think there's gonna be a lot of family there, obviously from both sides. So, but no, it's great. Um, now that I live, you know, south of uh, Kansas City, we have uh, you know, Missouri is great on fireworks. So I mean, we live like my hometown is not far from Missouri anyway, so we always come across state line allegedly, allegedly. Uh, to get fireworks. They have the best, but uh, no, it's fun, man. How about how about yours? Uh, no, it, it was good, dude. Uh, I stayed home, which is uh, a lot of times I, I, I go I go to my sister's house or I go to other places. Uh, I talked about being in Philly for two years on the 4th. Uh, I spent a couple of years overseas on the 4th. I spent uh, one of the best fireworks shows. I, I was in uh, you know, in Orlando for Disney World. I don't know how long ago that was. Maybe five years ago. Uh, in Orlando for the 4th. And they Disney puts on a big fucking <laughs> fireworks display. For sure. They do it like every night though, right? Yeah, they do it every night, but for the 4th. Like especially for the 4th. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. So, uh, yeah, the last few years I'm with Friends or family. This year, I'm like, fuck, we're gonna just do it at home. Mm-hmm. Uh, and your daughter was here, right? And my daughter was here. Yeah. Oh, well, she was here the last couple of years too. Okay. Uh, but this you usually get her about house. the same time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. Right. So, uh, but this year was cool. Uh, we cooked a bunch of food. Uh, yeah, you're sending me pictures. I think you might yeah. even post some on Twitter, or maybe you send them to me a Snapchat. I don't remember, but like cooking. you guys always go hardcore with food. I mean, yeah. like I mean, you know, you've heard us talk. Like you're a pretty big yeah. foodie. Yeah. And uh, and. I hate using that word, but it, 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 no, it, I, I don't like that word either. But yeah, yeah, I like to cook. I've been cooking like a savage the last few weeks. Uh, we we did um, for the fourth. We did some chicken wings. I've been getting better at cooking chicken wings on the charcoal grill, of course. And then uh, we made some chocolate cover. Yeah, we made some chocolate cover bacon, chocolate cover strawberries. We made candy bacon. Uh, Camus made a Snickers salad. Yeah, she was telling me about that Snickers. tonight yeah, on yeah, the way yeah. back. I've That's never good. heard of it. I fucking like, she probably have to make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For like our yeah, feast sure. when our guest comes over, it sounds so fucking awesome. Yeah, my daughter made cupcakes. Uh, we made a bunch of other side dishes. Uh, we just we like I was doing fireworks, like I said on the prison calls, for like five days leading up to the fourth. Uh-huh. Uh, I went to the fire, kept going back to the fireworks stand. Uh, the normal, it, some of the shit wasn't probably pretty good. Like we were using the chem lights. Yeah, uh, civilians know them as glow sticks. We were taping that, that uh, shit. We were taping uh, army men to shit. We had duct tape out there and knives and shit. So we're getting, we're, we're like doing that shit. Oh, that old rape tape? Oh, rape tape. <laughs> rape tape. Uh, I, I got my buddy uh, who works at Kiwit. Scratch that from the record. Uh, but I got some sticks of pretty much, no, no, we don't have, we don't have to scratch it. Oh, okay. But uh, I had these pretty much just dynamite, man. Mm-hmm. Like these explosives yeah you were telling me about so that. i got four smalls which i've used in the past few years and uh they're a quarter stick dynamite and then there's mediums and then there's larges so i had four smalls and one medium and they were breaking holes in my concrete in my street like uh i put it in a dip which already has tar and like gravel in it and, and they, they would just blow that shit up kids loved it <laughs> My first two, I duct taped army men to it, and then I was like, everybody get covered. Because yeah, because you're big on safety too. Yeah, right? we've talked really about big before. Yeah, really big on safety, especially with kids. I see, I see horrible yeah. things at work, like horrible accidents, horrible, like yeah, I see really bad things. Yeah. So I, I, I really big on safety. Like I, I take risks. I like to take risks. I don't know, so, but as far as even me, I try to be as safe as I can, and then especially with kids, I'm like, uh, no, no, let's, let's be safe. Uh, a quarter stick of dynamite is dangerous on its own. When you strap shit to it and duct tape shit to it, it's a projectile. <laughs> I was, I was just somebody, getting ready to say that. That can go through yeah. somebody's brain. So the last few, they're huge explosions. And the kids love it. You know, it's, you feel in your chest. Yeah. Uh, boom. And uh, brings it back to my army days. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we, we did four of those in, in a few days. And then the uh, 4th of July, we did two. And then we did the medium. And I was nervous to do the medium. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't buy a large. A large is a uh, probably like fucking exploded 30, window. 30, it, it's it's yeah, it's it's a full stick of dynamite. You know yeah. I mean? So they say don't let that off. You be forty feet away and I'm like that's that, that, between my house and the house across the street, you know, that's that's too close. We're not gonna do that. Yeah. So uh we let the dynamites off. Uh 
and it was just a huge explosion. Huge, <laughs> huge explosions. Uh, all the kids loved that. We did other shit. And rockets were taping army guys, chem lights to them. Uh, at the end of the night, the, the funnest thing with kids, like, you spend all this money and then it's like simple shit. So I got a hydrant wrench. Uh, my house is on a hill and the hydrant's just a little bit like up from my house. Right. I open up the main on the hydrant, the five inch main. I like allegedly. Hydrant. Like that. Allegedly. This is all like a dream that you had. Allegedly. Okay. So allegedly somebody opened up the hydrant in front of my house, the five inch main, and flushed the whole street. So kids were playing in the hydrant. It's just like you see in those old movies in like the <laughs> yeah. inner cities. And oh, like, yeah. I, yeah. I didn't open awesome. it up all the way. It's If I opened up all the way, if somebody would have opened up all the way, it would have been gushing oh, into my yeah. garage. Yeah. But I opened up halfway, just gallons and gallons mm-hmm. of water, thousands of gallons of water were rolling out. And the kids played in that, and then it also flushed the whole street. Like, we swept before that, but after that, like, the hydrant swept the whole street like it was fucking awesome it was a great great what do you think about that africa <laughs> <laughs> yeah sorry for water <laughs> no the fourth was great man uh yeah it was it was great i i uh i love the fourth like you yeah like good food absolutely. you know i'm getting better in my chicken wing game you know Dude, you are food. you are I, I've uh, seen it. I've seen because you've yeah. made it for a couple times yeah. it just gets yeah. better and no, better so i can I, only uh, imagine i, I try i try you know Great. So, uh, speaking about food, speaking about the fourth, uh, hope everybody had a good fourth. Hope, hopefully, everybody was safe. Mm-hmm. Uh, this weekend, like I, I cooked the pot roast. One of our guests tomorrow, today, all day, smoked a pork butt. Let's bring that in tomorrow. We got sides to go with that. Oh, yeah. You were going to do it. He was telling me we were going to get the uh, Hawaiian rolls. Yes. You know, we're going to do a little pork sandwiches. We also talked about we're going to do the fucking pulled pork nachos. So, we're going to go oh, get chips, God, yeah. nacho cheese. Jalapenos, yeah. which I got from a girl at work. I have some fresh jalapenos yeah, yeah, there in your that. refrigerator yes. right now. Yes. So we'll probably use those. Yes. You know what I mean? Um, uh, you know, beans, it's going to be fucking outstanding. Yeah. So uh, I can't wait. I can't like wait. We, we were literally talking, like we were texting, and I was like, I was like so <laughs> excited. Like we started the podcast, and I haven't seen this guest um, in a long time. I mean, it's probably. If it's if it's not a year, it's super close. Okay, two years since uh, you know since I've seen him. So, um, and well, obviously we're not going to tell you who it is. Like you'll know yeah. next week. You'll find Fuck out. No. So, <laughs> Tune in. But it's it's fucking great, yeah. and the fact that you know he's doing it is, is even better. Oh, so, it's awesome. Yeah, like like we had one guest locked down. The other guest went between a few people, and then. Uh, I mean, you know, it's summertime. People schedule. No, it's, like, it's you know, tough. And, and it's, it's tough. fine. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. I mean, it's hard enough to get you and I on the same no, page sure. a lot of times. Yeah, for sure. So, and it's fine. And the best thing is we have people that we can call. You yeah. Know? Oh, yeah. And people who, who step up and yeah. it, it, it's great. Yeah. And the thing is that even if they can, it's not like we can't do another podcast and just yeah. do whatever, you know? Yeah. It's whatever the fuck we want to do. So, it's for great. Sure. But it, I love having guests. Like, I think I've talked to other people who listen. They like having guests. Yeah. Just to, a crazy dynamic, which oh, is great. Sure. Like I said, people you don't know 100. Yeah. percent People I don't know 100. Yeah. percent People we both know that we love. You yeah. know, it's just it's fucking great. No, it's so, great. Like at volleyball, we we're one of the dudes there. Uh, he's like, "What are you guys talking about?" Because we were talking about later. Yeah. So we're talking about now. And uh, he's like, uh, "What are you guys recording?" We told him about the podcast. We told him what it's all about. You know, yeah, pretty much like we we've said <laughs> since just a tip. Like it's not about like we're not trying to get famous. We're uh, telling stories, we're having friends. Like, we have so many, like, for me, uh, Pags tell some of the best stories that I have, that I know, but, you know. And, uh, and I think you're one of the best storytellers. And that's why, like I said, yeah. when it didn't work out, like, I came to you. Yeah, and, like, yeah. even when, you know, Joey and I wanted to start it together, mm-hmm. and I said, you know, Spicy has to be our first yeah. guest. Because he didn't know you. Like, oh, yeah. He didn't know until he came on the podcast. Yeah. But I was like, I'm telling you, he's one of the best storytellers. And it's just fucking. Yeah. And that motherfucker's a great storyteller. Yeah. You know, but uh, but well, you know, what I tell people, I'm like, we're we're doing this, doing this for fun. Like when kids ask, like, are you guys famous? I'm like, no, we're not famous. <laughs> no. We're not trying to get famous. We're just trying to have fun. This is an excuse to get together, have fun, and then uh, if once a story gets told, because I have a lot of friends, we both have a lot of friends. I have really good stories, like uh, the Denmark story, or. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Or uh, Spence's uh, Valentino story, or some of the stories you're going to hear this weekend. Uh, once those stories are on the podcast, they live forever. 
Like, stories fade away years and years and years. Next thing you know, 10 years goes by. They fade away, but once yeah, on who podcast, said what? Like, who said what? How was it said? Like, yeah, you exactly. Lose it. I mean, everybody. You lose it. You lose it. But now, now on the podcast, I can always go back and be like, I, I got to hear this Valentino story. Or I got to hear Pags' story about going to, out of town. You know, whatever. So, yeah, no, no. It, it's I, I love the podcast. It's one of the favorite things I have in my life. And I got a great life, but uh, no, it's, it's amazing. It's well, amazing. that's what I was saying. Like, one of the chicks at volleyball was... Uh, She's like, so, uh, so what? She was kind of asking, "Do you guys are recording tonight?" And I said, "Yeah." And yeah. she's like, "How do you like it?" And I go, "It's my favorite thing yeah. I do in this yeah. world." She's like, "Really?" I know. I told her, "I was, yeah. um, you know, I have to sit kid. here." Uh, the one whose birthday's coming up next week, won't the kids? Their glasses. Oh, Sue's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I was Shout like, out Sue's. <laughs> I give her a hard time when we're playing. <laughs> yeah, she's a tough broad, dude. Yeah, she's awesome. She's a tough broad. Um, but I was like, "Yeah, it is." I mean, like, I. I Got out of the unit early. Yeah. I didn't see you yeah. practically, but once or twice yeah. for the last two years. And I was like, it's great. You're going to hang yeah. out oh, and just yeah, get to relive stuff. So, yeah. yeah. She's like, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. And what I'm looking forward to is uh, also is me me and Cam coming to Kansas City. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hanging out with you and Jay Pags. We got DD, son. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I'm, I'm excited. <clears throat> it's going to be awesome. Oh, show. Yeah, I want to bring up UFC 2, honey. Mm -hmm. uh, you didn't really watch it. <clears throat> no, I mean, I seen the highlights. Um, I, I didn't get to watch it. I, I, I think I know enough about it that it's, uh, uh, like, I, you know, I could talk about it and stuff. So, yeah, yeah I mean, you watched it, obviously. Yeah, um, U UFC 200 was marketed as one of the biggest UFC events ever. I think time. it would have been. Sure. And, and it was. Uh, there's some ups and downs. There was great fights. I think the pre prelims, the prelims, and then the main card uh, was huge. The biggest letdown was, of course, John Jones, who, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I mean, I'm not in that game. Like, I mean, yeah. he got popped. If people don't know, he got popped for uh, some substance. I don't. It wasn't drugs. It was just something that he took that was like a performance oh, enhancing. Man. He said he didn't know. He should have wrote it down. I don't know if it was something that he like a boner pill that he yeah. took that had some extra shit like some off market, or if it was he he said it was some supplement he just didn't write down he should have known. Nah. I think it's just nah. a cop out, nah. you know. For sure, uh, I'm not saying he was cheating. I'm just saying I think he might have known and he just got caught yeah. type of thing. Yeah. Um, just from what it sounded like to me, and it sucks. He would have made that car huge. I mean, they still brought oh, uh, God, you know uh, Anderson Silva. In, oh my which, God, dude. Um, you know, which I still thought was pretty big. I mean, I didn't like I said I didn't really get to see the fight, just little highlights here and there, so I don't know how the overall fight went. Um, but, I, I mean, yeah, it was still good. You know, Brock Lesnar came back, I think, his first fight in five years. Mm -hmm. Like, last time he fought, 2011, won by unanimous decision, it was. No, I think he finished. I want to say he finished. Yeah, I mean, he won, but yeah, everybody he won, said he, he looks fucking fantastic. So, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's fucking insane. Yeah, so, like, John Jones, uh, the more you hear about outside people, uh, he's a fucking douchebag. He's a piece of shit. Uh, John Jones might be one of the best fighters ever into the octagon in, in UFC. Uh, UFC history? Yeah, UFC history. <laughs> so he's he's a light heavyweight. Uh, fights at 205. Undefeated. Um, he's, he's, he's a fucking robot. Like, he's so fucking good. Uh, he started getting into trouble, uh, tested positive for cocaine, which, fuck, who hasn't done cocaine? <laughs> but you know you're going to get piss tested, so yeah. don't do it. It's three days inside of your system, so what the fuck are you doing? Like, how, right. big, how bad is your problem? That, whatever. Whatever. I'm not judging for that. Yeah. And then the big thing for me was the hit and run. He hit and ran. He was in Albuquerque with his training camp. Uh, hit and run. Hit a pregnant lady. Broke her arm. Flood scene. And Didn't they find cocaine in his car? No, marijuana in his car, oh, which, yeah, which I mean, is that's... less than alcohol. Be, yeah, yeah. It'd be more dangerous if he had like a bottle of Jack Daniels in his car for right. me. But so, yeah, marijuana in his car, but they test for that, just like the NFL, which is stupid. It's not a performance enhancer. Right. It's way safer than alcohol and other stuff. But, uh, yeah, then, then uh, but he's got, you know, two brothers in the NFL. I think both have Super Bowl. Yeah, the whole fucking family. Yeah, they're, like, they're great genes, you know, and. Uh, DC Cormier, 
he's he's kind of cheesy, you know. He's he's a uh, he does like a he, he talks about the fights. He, he, he he's kind of cheesy, but in the in the ring, he, he's 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 a fucking beast. Yeah, he's an he Olymp- he's an Olympian. Yep. Uh, he came as a heavyweight, and his buddy is Cain Velasquez, which one of my favorite fighters. Uh, we'll get into that too because he fought that night too. Yeah. Uh, Cain Velasquez is a fucking beast. Uh, they mm-hmm. both were heavyweight. Cain Velasquez was the champ. DC Cormier beat everybody in in the heavyweight division. I was like, I'm not gonna fight my buddy uh, Kane, so I'll drop down to light heavyweight. Beat everybody in light heavyweight. Fought John Jones, lost the first time, and they hated each other. And then they're supposed to fight again. And then now he's, I think, twice now it's been postponed. Yeah. Two UFC 200, uh, they're supposed to fight. Uh, and he fucking a few days earlier he got popped. Yeah, there's it was like con- three days before. Yeah, there's controversy. Uh, there's controversy that says because uh, the piss test was a long time ago, or whatever the blood test, whatever was a long time ago. People are saying, well, Dana White knew about it. People knew about it. They just didn't say it. Until later on the game, so it would sell tickets. Yeah, try to build because, up. Yeah. And, fuck, I don't know. I have no nothing to support that. Nobody I know has anything to support that, but <laughs> right. that's that's big business. I mean, uh, there's people that were in Vegas already, <laughs> people who bought tickets to the fight, people who bought pay-per-view for the fight, and then they found out John Jones is fighting. So maybe they did find out earlier. Right. Just announced it late, but, yeah, I don't know, man. But it's just shitty. DC Cormier fought uh, a lot of people. He was devastated, man. I mean, you know, you go to a fight camp, you got to pay these people. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, hey, you don't have a fight now. Devastated. He hates John Jones. Uh, so then they said, well, we'll find a fight for you. A lot of people were stepping up. Anderson Silva stepped up. Yeah. One of the best of all time, the Spider. And uh, he usually, he's only fought at 205 three times. Right. Some people say, at 205, it's his best fights. Really? He finished all three fights that he fought in 205 in the first round. Oh, shit. But this is two, three days notice. This is DC. John Jones, to me, is the best fighter in the UFC. Okay. Half a pound. DC Cormier hates him for obvious reasons. He lost to him. He's an Olympian. He's a bad mm-hmm. motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Uh he was gonna be ready to beat anybody in the in in the fight game. Yeah, because if you're gonna going up against arguably the best, the best, he's the best. So Anderson Silva steps up, maybe the best pound for pound fighter all time. Yeah, uh, he was a champ for. I mean, that's a good argument. I mean, you could argue that for Jones. You can argue that for yeah. you know Anderson for sure, one hundred percent. So Anderson's record's better. Uh, he's fucking savage. Um, after he, he, he lost to Weidman, he, he was so undefeated for years. Uh, lost to Weidman. People thought it was a fluke. Lost to Weidman again when he broke his leg. He's like, yeah. He's 40 years old. Came out. People were booing the fight because uh, DC kept taking him down. Laying on him. He was causing damage. Elbows, forearms, was hammer fists. Fucking stand they up, want to see him stand out. up. The stand-up portion of it, Silva was fucking killing. Yeah, that's why he obviously he took yeah, it to the ground. Absolutely, and, and DC smart for the, taking it to the ground. Yeah. But yeah, Silva is fucking all nothing but respect. Yeah, nothing absolutely. but respect. And he Silva ended up losing, right? He, he lost. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Silva ended up losing. Spoiler alert: Silva ended up losing. But <laughs> he standing up, he was fucking killing. Me. Yeah. Two days notice, fighting somebody way heavier. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Anderson Silva. Moved up to 205 to fight DC. What's he usually fight at? 185? 185. Yeah. DC usually fights heavyweight. It's been 205 lately. But and DC was like, I'll fight a heavyweight guy. But it can't be anybody you know, too much above 225. Right. They found him fight at 205. It was Anderson Silva. And uh, at 40 years old, after a major, he's fought twice, I, I believe, since he tip fib fracture when he broke his leg brutally, which a lot of people have seen. On, That's uh, fucking, it's pretty bad. Yeah, but no, Anderson Silva, so nothing but respect. Man. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, it was, it's fucking crazy. A lot of the fights were, were good. Uh, Misha Tate. Which, yeah, I, I was going to say, I want to get yeah. in to, to the females because it's I, so weird. I mean, um, as you said earlier, spoiler yeah. alert, Misha Tate lost. Mm. I just think it's fucking crazy yeah. that Ronda had it for how many fights in a row, mm-hmm. lost to Holly Holm, mm-hmm. Holly Holm fought Misha Tate, lost, Misha Tate's champion, yeah. fights Amanda Nunes, 
Yeah. And then um, fucking loses it. So Amanda, she's the first Brazilian to hold the Bantamweight Championship. Yeah, she is. For the first. females, she which is fucking awesome. Doing even more research? I, I just oh, listened to Joe Rogan's okay. podcast. Uh, no, <laughs> so. yeah, that's true. That's true. So, like, I'm, I'm trying to, like, this is one of the, the, uh, the same thing with, uh, what is it, 185 with Bisbang just took it from Rockhold and Rockhold yeah. took it from White and White mm-hmm. took it from Silver. Yeah. It's the same thing. Like it's just jumping around, jumping around. Which fucking makes it exciting. Yeah, it makes yeah. it exciting as fuck. Yeah. So like, I'm I'm trying to figure out like, uh, I, we said this on a podcast. Like, so uh, Holly Holm beat Rousey, mm-hmm. you know, and then I'm like, everybody wants to see the rematch. I'm yeah. like, if you want to see the rematch, you cannot let Holly Holm fight anybody else. She fought Misha Tate early on. I said, if she fights Misha Tate, Misha Tate is gonna win. Yep. And I said that, and I, I Misha Tate is such a well-rounded fighter. <clears throat> um, fuck, dude. I don't know if you listened to her on Joe Rogan's I did. I did, yeah. God, it's dude. fucking great. She's, a, she's got the hearted champion. She's a champion. Yeah. She's so Cupcake. Well Cupcake. <laughs> Shouts out Cupcake Tate. Uh, I said, if if, if, if Misha Tate fights Holly Holm, she's going to win. Mm-hmm. You know? And she did, and, and Misha Tate won. So then, I'm like, well, right now, <laughs> right now, these bitches are, these bitches are struggling to, to fight, you know, so I figured with this 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 fight, uh, Misha Tate and Amanda Nunez, uh, you could have Ronda Rousey and uh, Ron, and uh, Holly Holm fight, and the winner fights for the number one contender spot. Yeah, yeah. Fights Misha Tate, but if Misha Tate loses, it's gonna throw it all in chaos. Yeah. So of course, Misha Tate gets her fucking ass whooped. Like by TKO Amanda. first round. Yeah, first round. She she, she came out. She got hurt early, and she was. I, I didn't think she would lose. No, I, I didn't I either. Really did. I didn't I mean, either. I, again, I know I very either. little, but yeah. still, like, I'm just, she's going in confident. I mean, Amanda yeah. had some fucking great fights. I guess, <clears throat> according to Joe Rogan, was it Joe Rogan podcast? Or some podcast I was listening to, they were saying, the thing with Amanda is, like, her cardio isn't the best. Mm-hmm. Like, she's fucking fired first and second yeah. round. You get past that mm-hmm. is when you have a chance, but you have to survive round mm-hmm. one and two against yeah. her. And nobody's been able to. That's the thing. Yeah, she he should take out her. From what I saw, I watched the fight twice. I watched it that night, and I watched it the next day. Uh, she got hurt. She broke her nose. Allegedly, it looks like she broke her nose. She got stunned. She was going for takedowns. She could not get away. And Amanda Nunes was just throwing. They're just the fucking the one two. Yeah, one two, one two, one two. Fucking cracking her. And uh, she finished the fight in the first round. So now it's like there's six bras. I mean, there's Ronda Rousey, Holly Holm, Misha Tate, Amanda Nunez, and then in another fight that night was uh, Katz and Gano's back in it, and then uh, well, so, I mean, you got to throw Cyborg's name in there. Cyborg. Right? Cyborg I mean, I, I know Cyborg, she's only had like one yeah, fight in the UFC yeah, though, right? So, I mean, she killed it, but yeah. she's been fucking good for a long time. But she has to. She's higher, right, than, the, than yeah. that weight class, mm-hmm. so she would have to go down to, to yeah. compete, which I think would be. I, again, from what I hear, I yeah. think it's, it's pretty far down for her to get oh, to yeah. one. Was it 145? 135. One, 135. So there's six bras that are all in it. Yeah. And then Cyborg's usually fights at 145. She dropped down to the last fight. Do you, first UFC fight, she dropped down to 140. Yeah. And it seemed like it was tough for her to get there. If she could get to 135, that's chaos. Then there's seven bras yeah. that are all like, so not, So now, like if, if Misha would have won, it could have been easy for Dana I, and. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Lorenzo, the whoever, the matchmaker. So it could have been Holly Holm, Ronda Rousey, the winner, can fight Misha. But now, like Misha's gonna want to fight Amanda Nunes. Right. And nothing to take away from Amanda. I mean, she no, deserves no, it yeah, for she's sure. A yeah, absolutely. Beast. She's, a, she's a pit bull. Dude. Yeah. But now, so who wants to fight who? Like, what's gonna happen in this bantamweight women's? Uh, there's six girls, maybe Cyborg, and then fuck Cyborg is as tough as a gun. <laughs> So yeah, and all these you girls smash? can win. You smash Cyborg? Oh. Yeah, like not not in the ring. I get the yeah, bathroom. Yeah, yeah. I smash. <laughs> I I just want to understand. Yeah, of course. Oh, oh. <laughs> but that's not for the UFC too, huh? Yeah. I'm, I want to keep talking about it, but yeah, that's, that's about it. Brian I mean, Lesner, we, we could talk. We could talk oh, offline. One thing, real quick. One thing, real quick. Uh, one of the most sensitive. There was, I think, twelve fights that night. Pre prelims, the prelims, and then the main card. Uh, there was at least twelve fights that night. One of the biggest ones was Misha, because I'm a big Misha Cupcake Tate fan. Yeah. 
The other one was uh, Cain Velasquez. Cain Velasquez yeah. is a fucking savage. One of the best heavyweights ever in the UFC. He ended up winning, yeah? Yeah, he won, yeah. He fought Travis Brown. Travis That's Brown right. is a fucking douchebag. That's big, right, yeah. You're not a Brown fan. Yeah. <laughs> no relation. Irony. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, no relation between Spicy and Travis. Uh, he's, he's, he beat his ex-wife. There's pictures of it on yeah. Instagram. She yeah. got away. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. I mean, it's pretty compelling. She, she said, uh, "Aren't him and Ronda uh, yes, bumping uglies?" They're together. Yeah, 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 that's what I thought. But uh, you know why? He's, he ain't beating her up. She's no, fucking take his ass no, out. No, I, I did. <laughs> to be funny, yeah, but no. In real life, yeah, and he's probably two sixty five, and she's one thirty five. She's still kicking. He's throwing her around. Yeah, <laughs> she's still wrong. Hopefully, he's not beating her. But no, he was beating his ex wife. She exposed my Instagram. Police looked at it. FBI looked at it. Uh, there's not enough proof, or she didn't talk in further investigations. He's back in. The, I fucking hate Travis Brown. Anybody that beats women, anybody that beats or bullies people in general, a piece of shit, man. Piece of, of shit, shit, man. Yeah, you know, like uh, you have to be a fucking shitty person, a horrible person to uh, to feel that bad about yourself to beat people that are smaller than you. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it, she was a model. Mm-hmm. He's a 265-pound heavyweight fucking UFC fighter that trains his whole life. And, and he was probably, choking her and beating her. She's probably a buck 05 or something, yeah, if I yeah. remember right. Yeah. He's a fucking piece of shit. Uh, anyway, Cain Velasquez, uh, he heavyweight, one of the best heavyweight champs in UFC history, uh, suffered from injuries. The interim belt went to Fabricio Verdun. Right now, he doesn't have the belt. He, he lost a couple fights. He suffered from injuries. Uh, he beat the shit out of fucking Travis Brown. Yeah. Uh, right before, I want to say right before the first round ended, he finished it. And I was like, fuck it. Let it go. I'll let it go three, <laughs> three more rounds as long as Travis Brown's getting beat. I fucking hate Travis Brown. Yeah. He beats women. He beats, he's a fucking piece of shit. If you're listening, fuck you, man. <laughs> For real, fuck you. Uh, anybody that's a bully or a piece of shit like that, like I, I can't, I don't understand why people like that are fighting in the UFC. Yeah. yeah fuck you. It's disgusting to me. But uh, I don't want to get too deep on that. But we can move on through. See, I just want to say shots out Cain Velasquez. Uh, he's the truth. Uh, that's it, man. But I, I want to get into I want to get into Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon Go. Yeah. I want to know what you feel about that. Like, I don't know much about it. Uh, but you, I have like a couple tangents that I'll probably go off and watch. Okay. Honestly, so how, like, what do you think about it? Uh, for like just your knowledge and stuff. Okay. So. All right, so this is what I think about it. I know it's blowing up. It's blowing up like crazy. Uh, I'm not mad at it. I don't, I'm not a hater. I know the news immediately was like, there's people that are, uh, like, at the time, when I, I don't ever watch the news. I watch the news at work. I don't have yeah. cable here. I don't go, go on. If something's going on in my city that's crazy, I'll, I'll, I'll go on uh, a local news on the internet. Yeah. Other than that, I don't give a fuck. It's all bullshit news. Uh, but... On the news when I was at work, they said uh, people are criminals are targeting Pokemon Go players, and I'm like, yeah, it, 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 it for sure one case happened. Yeah, where three people robbed a guy and they took his cell phone and his wallet. But the news just tries to scare you, so it's like, okay, out of let's say a million people mm-hmm. doing it, like point oh two percent of people are robbing people doing yeah. it. Yeah, so like, like the news is trying to scare more you. than a million people. Like, this is a worldwide. Okay, phenomenon. all right, so so. Oh, I'm just saying, like, ratio. Yeah. Oh, ratio. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, yeah. 100 people are doing it. Okay, okay, yeah, I see what you're Let's saying. Let's say 100 people, out of 100 people, like, 0.01 people are going to get robbed yeah, yeah, or yeah, yeah, whatever. So, so uh, but the news is, like, one case was three guys robbed a guy, mm-hmm. took his phone, took his wallet. But they're like, crim- the news story opens up, you know, on national TV, on local TV. Uh, criminals are targeting Pokemon players, like, yeah, it happened. It could happen, but that happens in other situations too. But they're trying it to like happens scare if you're people. Walking down yeah, the street, yeah, they're so, just yeah. scaring people. But so what I know about it is blowing up. Uh, I don't know much about it. Uh, my my girlfriend's boys play it. Uh, we had at the firehouse. We were in the kitchen, and we could see our parking lot. We share a parking lot with the Latino Museum across the street yeah. and a, a bank, uh, Caddy Corner, Caddy Wampus, if you will, and uh. So we always watch the parking lot roll through. So the car rolls through, they park, we 
and we're looking, nobody gets out, somebody goes outside, walks up to the car, <laughs> they're all looking at their phones. Uh, they're like, well, what's up? You guys okay? Because we get walk ups. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You can get walk ups. Walk ups at the yeah. firehouse. So you need to check. 100. Yeah, yeah. So, but they, they were like, oh, no, no, we're just playing Pokemon. <laughs> Where might go? And they're like, oh, that's fine. So they, they, they got some Pokemon shit at our firehouse yeah. uh, parking lot. And uh, yeah, no, I, 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 I see people walking around on their phones. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's not smart. I see people, you could get hit by a car. Yeah, you could get robbed. You could get fuck, put in a fucked up position. Other than that, I don't really give a shit. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> I do not play this game as of right now. I don't know if I'll download it. I probably won't. So I was never into Pokemon prior. Me neither. So <clears throat> my thoughts on it are I absolutely love it. I 100% love it, and here are my reasons why. Okay. Um, it's For one, it's great that yeah. um, like people are getting out of the house to go do yeah. this. Yeah. Now, granted, you should not do this while you're driving. Right. You need, like, Pokemon even puts up... <clears throat> A thing on the phone that says, uh, like, you know, be aware of your surroundings. Yeah. Obviously, you should not do it while you're driving. You also shouldn't fucking text when you're driving either. So true. people are saying this is causing wrecks. Like, people are going to be on their phone for other yeah, things. True. I mean, just because it's that game, like, it's yeah. not a fucking valid excuse for people who are hating on it. Yeah. Um, I fucking love it. People are getting out of their house. Like, uh, you know, I have a couple buddies who play it, and they, you, people are exploring their city. They're. <coughs> Finding the places they never would have gone right. if it wasn't for this game. People are getting together, like they're meeting up with other groups. Like I don't know if you know here um, uh, over in Lincoln, Memorial Stadium opened up the stadium. I heard that. For uh, people. I read there that. were I read thousands of people. You know, um, you know Spencer. He's been on the podcast. He just yeah. told me the other night. He um, he just he saw this Pokemon was close, and he like ran out. He saw like a, like three or four other groups of people, and. He's like, you guys playing Pokemon? Did you find, can you find blah, blah, blah? He's like, fuck no, I can't find it. Can you find it? Yeah. He's like, no. I mean, there are people who are coming together. They're, yeah. you know, they're hanging out. They're having fun. They're meeting other people all yeah. because of this game. Yeah. And like to say that it's fucking shit or it's stupid because you don't understand it. And a lot of this stuff I've seen, I don't like Pokemon Go. It's stupid. Well, people are getting out talking to each other. Let me get on my phone and complain about it on Facebook. Like, go <laughs> fuck yourself. Yeah. Like, just because you don't understand yeah. it, you don't like it, there's nothing wrong with doing it. Yeah, oh, people yeah. should be aware of their surroundings. But people are going to fucking tweet while they're going out. Yeah. People are going to fucking Facebook. They're not going to be paying yeah. attention. People are already doing it. It's people, another yeah. fucking game. Right. I mean, I just read this other article that it's just like it's great for kids like with uh, mental disabilities, like kids with Asperger's. Kids like who just want to stay inside and game. Well, this is a game, but it's getting them outside. It's yeah. getting them, you know, walking around. I mean, I've literally read a thing where somebody's like, "My kids complain his legs have never hurt because they walk twelve miles around the neighborhood, yeah. you know, just around them looking for shit." Like that outweighs the good way more. Sure. And another fucking thing, people need to stop. I'm getting fucking heated. No, up, dude, I, I love it. I people love it, man. People fucking complain about everything, and it's so annoying. Yeah. Like, if it honestly wasn't for our nasty and friends, um, like. Facebook page, yeah. I would have fucking uh, like probably got off Facebook. Like it just it drives me nuts. Like, and I mean, I say that I probably got off. You you know when we were back in the uh, unit, we'd leave for two to three weeks. Yeah, you know I I would just close it off, and it's just nice to un unplug, as the kids say it these days. Yeah, you know from all of that shit. But I mean, it's great because I get to see pictures of my niece who's you know two hours two plus hours away from me or, you know, right around two hours. I get to see other friends. It's great to communicate. Um, but it's just people who always fucking complain just because you don't play it. I guarantee if you play it, you might enjoy it. If you don't, you don't. Yeah. But to hate on other people, like what they're doing, it's just, it's so annoying. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, shout out to, to Dane Peterson. Um, he put it on a Facebook. He's just like, um, I wish I had a status pulled up so I could fucking read it. But it was just like, Oh, you're tired of seeing all about this Pokemon Go? Yeah, I'm tired of people complaining about the Republican and Democratic debates. I'm tired of people complaining. You know, I miss people complaining about race, and I miss this and this. And, you mm -hmm. know, and people are getting outside. And it was obviously an all sarcastic thing. Like, yeah. why are you bitching about it? Oh, yeah. And, I, I mean, I love memes just as much as every day. So people who put up memes about it, I think it's funny. Oh, yeah. And I laugh. But there are legit people who, like, fucking hate it. And I just, I don't get it. Like, I don't see any bad thing about it. Like, no. I mean, there's, yeah, people, the like, criminals are going to do that to people. And because of that game... Like they're gonna find a different way to do it anyway. You know what yeah. I mean? I mean, it may give you know give them more access to it, 
But it's just, it's so fucking frustrating. Like, I think it's a fucking, it's awesome. And another, somebody shared this Facebook status, and I, if I knew their name, I would credit to them. But it's just like, you know, people. He said, everybody's complaining about Pokemon Go, but people for the past five years have sat on their ass on the couch playing Candy Crush, <laughs> and nobody said a fucking word. Yeah. People get outside, they explore yeah. their neighborhood, they meet other people, and they talk, and everybody complains. Yeah. Like, it's it's so annoying to me. Yeah. And so I love it. I've never even played it. Like, no, I, I love it. People are getting together, like, you know, I believe, or Spencer and Joey, like, they play, they got together, nice. and uh, I mean, they would wow. see each other anyway, but yeah. still, they went out and went around, like, you know, uh, Spencer awesome. has like an eight-year-old uh, boy, yeah. and, you know, he he wanted him to download it, and then yeah. I think a friend at work told Spencer, he was like, he's just do it, yeah. and he's got, like, he said that they, he told me the technical terms, so Spencer's a big fucking nerd, <laughs> and he's just like, we talked to this, I guess, um, like uh, cemeteries are huge for Pokemon, right, and he goes, right. "Yeah, we talked to this guy in the cemetery about some fucking one of the monsters right. that they catch for like a half an hour." And he goes, "My son was so excited to talk to other people." Oh, so you know, awesome. like they're you know they're meeting each other, and yeah. you know businesses are making money because I guess yeah. like how it works for people don't know. I think it's just computer generated that the Pokemon I believe is the person who catches these little animals, which are called monsters. Okay, I think is. Is how it goes, but you can if I don't know if you like level up or how it fucking works, but you can set stuff down that puts like the little monsters out to catch. And businesses are put, and you know, like this rare Pokemon is here. Um, you know, you just buy a drink or whatever, you can come in, and it's fucking, you know, it's put money back in, yeah. you know, into money they probably wouldn't have gotten because of it. So yeah. I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's worldwide, like mm -hmm. it released in Australia first. I think it was one of the first countries. Um, and then it got, came to the U.S. like later in the day, and, and it's all around. Like it's, yeah. I think it's an absolutely great thing. I don't see any, you know, bad benefit. I think as of right now, there's been two bodies discovered that had died not playing Pokemon, but people found these bodies while they're looking like yeah. along a long river for like a water monster yeah. or something, you know. Yeah. And like, who knows how long that person would have, you know, sat there? You could throw out the shitty stats all the time. Yeah, this person wrecked. You know that they might have done it, you know, any other way. Yeah. And, I, and I think there's like there's like you said, there's so many. There's like a less percentage, less than one percent oh of the, God, everybody because yeah. there's millions. Like it yeah. has passed Tinder and app use. Like it's there, and it's approaching Twitter. Yeah. It's gonna pass Twitter. Yeah. And um, I don't know if you know anything about Google Trends, but you can go to I think it's like GoogleTrends.com, and you could put in like two things, and you could show the tw the trends. Yeah. Pokemon Go. Trended higher than porn for a couple <laughs> hours, like um, like a couple days ago or yeah. something. Like, it's, awesome. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's how many people are? You know, I got a, a buddy that um, he uh, Rob he downloaded the game, yeah. and I don't think he knew much about Pokemon before. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, like people are doing it who yeah. weren't even into it before, and I think it's fucking fantastic. I like teetering on it if I want to do yeah. it or not because you know me, I'm fucking everything I do, I do a hundred percent, and I know I would be super addicted to it. Yeah. So that's why I haven't pulled the trigger. I don't think there's anything wrong. No, but I, I would just like so. to. I think when I get home, like you know, a couple yeah. nights next week, I'm gonna like just go out and just walk around yeah. the neighborhood just to see people. You yeah, know, I just think it, yeah. yeah, it's just fucking great, man. I that's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm glad to hear about how you feel about it. Like you know, we've talked about this on the podcast before. Like, whatever brings people together, it doesn't matter. Whether yeah. it's food, whether it's drinks, whether it's just your shirt. Oh, oh hey, what's up, man? Yeah. You know? That's a like sweet, that. nasty in French yeah. shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, like, whatever brings people together. And, and the, the, that's why I said, like, it really bothered me on the news. Uh, like, it's blowing up. And the news <laughs> is just like, oh, we want to be a part of this. And the first thing they say is, uh, there was a robbery. And it's... It, News opened up with uh, criminals are using this to uh, mark victims or whatever. Right. And which I mean, I get like to which the point, it's, and it's, it's good happened. to allow to let people know. I mean, yeah. you have to be safe. We talk about yeah. safety all the time. Yeah. I mean, you definitely one hundred percent. But, it, but at the time, safe. it happened once yeah. out of millions of people. You know, like they, 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 the media is trying to scare. Listen, people, the media is trying to scare you. Fuck the media. They're full of shit. Their politicians are full of shit. It's my turn to piss. Listen to that same <laughs> friends. No, it, that, that bothers me. That it bothers me. Yeah. Like there was a they showed the, these three mug shots on the screen, local and media and uh, national media, and they're like, hey, 
uh, criminal, and it opened up with criminals are targeting Pokemon players uh, as victims. And it's like, what the fuck? It happened once? I'm Do you sure. remember where it was at? No, I don't. But if you Google that shit, it's, it, it's up there. But uh, yeah, it happened. It probably happened a few times since now, but there's millions and millions of people playing. That's not a risk. It's letting people get out of their comfort zone, making people go to places they usually do not go. And uh, people are interacting with people, whatever people want to do to have fun. Like, uh, as long as it's safe, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, well, everybody's on their phone. And we talked about this on a podcast. If you go anywhere, you go to a mall, you go to anywhere, everybody's looking down on their phone. Uh, <clears throat> Like this is yeah, you're still looking down at your phone, but you're getting out of your comfort zone. You're going to places you usually would not go, uh, and doing that, you're you are moving around, which is good. Yeah, and you are maybe meeting other people who are into the same things you are. Like yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there's the the best part that. about that I love about it is this this Pokemon Go started as a joke. Okay. Like somebody made like a YouTube video. I don't know the exact story, but I mm-hmm. believe somebody made a YouTube video about it and then some company just liked it and then like it enjoyed it so much that they made it a real thing now i know it's just like with anything else the servers go down i oh, mean yeah. like i said there's a million probably in the billions of people playing i would assume um you know it's 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 yeah. fucking it's great i love it i hope it fucking keeps going man you just people just have to be safe you know but just keep fucking doing it man like yeah. me Go out there and meet people. I'm sure. I guarantee it. You're gonna hear a story sooner or later that these people got married. Oh yeah. From you know meeting uh, from like playing Pokemon. So uh, it's it's a fucking beautiful thing. Sure. Like and uh, you know hopefully we'll, like our one of our, our guests can you know we can enlighten on it a yeah, little bit I, I more. I think someday, someday um, we might be able to yeah. You know. Somebody will be able to talk about it yeah. a little bit more. I think so. Um, it's 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 gonna be fucking great. So. Um, that, yeah, that's my thoughts, and I just I wanted to get that out there. I've been like I don't like to usually when I post, especially like on Facebook. You know, if I post something, I, I'll try to post because I think it would be funny. Yeah. You know, just type of stuff, and especially with all the fucking crazy shit that's going yeah. on with the world. I mean, you know, uh, today's July fifteenth. You know, yesterday there was a big fucking in France. A lot of fucking people, yeah. you know, got killed there. You know, you have the Orlando shootings. You have like the people who got shot. You know, from the cops. Like, there's so much fucking yeah. shit going on. Um, and so I try not, I don't want to like put my opinion out there because I just like to talk to people, you know, no, personally, like what yeah. they feel, you know, stuff like that. But I just wanted to post this on Pokemon, you know, but I'm not, yeah. I just, I feel like people just need to give it a chance. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, you know, if you don't fucking want to hate it, hate it. Like I know my brother, my twin brother, he fucking hates it. He talks about that shit <laughs> on Twitter. So I can't wait till he's listening to this. So <laughs> you you change bitch. your mind, you motherfucker. You son of no. a bitch. Um, and it's probably just cause he's trying, trying to go for laughs, you know, yeah, shit. No, too, I so. know. Which is fun. He's like, a, like the biggest, one of the biggest nerds I know. Instead of like it. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I get it. Yeah. Like, you know, if everybody's doing it, you know, yeah. shit like that, but, it's, you know, it's kind of we alluded to it earlier. Like it just the negativity. Like I'm a pretty happy guy, even yeah, yeah. if I'm like having like a shitty day. Yeah. So I still try to be happy. Um, you know, I know we brought up Spencer a million times in this podcast, but I, I work with him, him and him and I, I am all the fucking time. And I've said it before, like him and I, I am like it's 1997 and we're on MSN Messenger. Um, you know, we talk. He's he's a pretty big. Um, like a pessimist and he's just like he's like i love like hearing your optimism like you know you like you yeah. level me out and like we like throw ideas back and forth about everything yeah. and be like yeah I, I get what you're saying but do you see this and i was like yeah and it's just you know shit like that so like it's being like a, for the most part a really like happy guy all the time mm-hmm. just go like i just all the negativity even when it's just something i mean there's negativity and it sparks conversation mm-hmm. and i think that's great and it's good for a lot of spot yeah lot of areas and stuff but just people are just like shitting on something as simple as pokemon go it's yeah. just frustrating that's what pisses me off it's kind of ironic i feel you know that's just what really gets me going i'm yeah. just like oh, i just let these people be happy yeah let them be happy you know no, i uh so my last day at work uh for 24 hour shifts i worked uh i had to fill in uh-huh. At a special ops station, and I was on rescue. So I was on rescue for eight hours. <laughs> Ended up being ten hours because we had an incident on the interstate. And after that, I went back <clears throat> to my own station. But there, like 
a lot of the guys there, they watch Fox News and they're like Republicans or whatever. And uh, it's fucking crazy. I watch Fox News. Fox News is fucking off the hook. They're fucking crazy people. <clears throat> they got like probably the hot chicks wearing short skirts. Yeah, they do. They do. And they're just battling it <coughs> out. It seems like Fox News She's talks crazy. so much about like black people. And it's just like, what the fuck are you guys even know about black people? Like, it, yeah. it's it's out of it's out of this world. It'd be like me, like talking about, I don't know, like some shit I have no idea, like <laughs> right. table hockey or so, or like a table like ping pong or something. Yeah, table tennis is what table tennis. Before. Yeah, table tennis, ping pong, whatever. Like, I have no idea what I'm talking about. If uh, trying to talk about, but that's how they talk about like black people. Like, why do you guys talk about they like Fox News? From they talk about black people all the time, and they have no fucking all from idea. white anchors. <laughs> yeah, from what? Well, they have like black people in there too that have no idea what black people. Do. <laughs> but no, so like, uh, like Barack Obama, respect, man. I love Barack Obama, man. I love him. Yeah. Uh, for me, like he's one of the best presidents we've had ever. Yeah, we have, usually don't all like, time. We no, usually, we don't get, get usually into it. get political. No, we don't like that. But he's like, hey, America is not divi- is divided as uh, the media will let you, you know, believe. Like, we're not that divided. Right. Everybody's still together, you know. And I and I completely agree. I completely agree. And uh, Fox, you know, Fox News came back on, and they're like, can you believe this? Are you kidding me? Like, look at all the Trump. Like, they're stirring everything up. That's what the news does. Stir- stirs yeah. everything up. Like, like. Uh, and I'm just like watching this, like, oh my god! Like people watch this. Like I got friends that watch this, and they believe it, you know. But and yeah. uh, like, not to interrupt you, but if, if there's anybody out there like just getting fucking pissed, oh fuck Brown, he said Obama's <laughs> one of the best presidents. Like, listen, it's a fucking conversation. Mm-hmm. It's just it's his opinion. Yeah. It's fine. You may or may not agree with it. Just listen, think about it. Like we're all a family here. To yeah, this yeah. nasty and friends. It's a big family. Yeah, and, so. and, and, and dude, I don't want to get political. <laughs> yeah. People listen. I don't want to get political. Like I, there's things Obama did wrong for sure. You know, but I, for, and I don't trust politicians. But with Obama, I trust him way more than most politicians. Mm. Uh, I, I really do think. I think anybody who's president, there's a little bit they could do. That's it. Because they're locked up, yeah. Because of the House, the Congress, and all that shit. But uh, no, like he, he's like, we're not that divided, you know. Because shit is fucked up. If you watch the media, like shit's fucked yeah. up. But most of everybody you talk to, they're like, yeah, we think that police killing people is wrong. We also think people killing police is wrong. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, yeah, it's that's how people think. But the yeah. media will be like, oh no. You're either black or white or whatever. I'm like, right. no, nah, bullshit. And like, bullshit. Like, for me, I think, like, if you want to get into this since we're talking about it, yeah. um, I think, like, for news and, like, what people see is the, um, like, people see the most extreme. Mm-hmm. And, like, that's what they think. I think, yeah. in my opinion, and I think the way it should be, and I think most people fall in these two categories. Yeah. If you say black lives matter, that doesn't mean that you hate police right you know if you say that's what police the media says. yeah if, if you say okay. police no you're right if you say police lives matter i don't think that means that you hate all black people no but when you see like the extremists mm-hmm. you know what i mean like i me personally like going back and forth like you see like when like these black lives matter activists mm-hmm. and then people like well all lives matter well like no shit like oh, no shit, shit yeah. all lives matter. No shit, black lives matter. Yeah. But as a 29 year old white male yeah. who doesn't have to worry about it if I get pulled over, right. you know what I mean? I could, I would never be able to see it from uh, a black person yeah. on the inner city who no. is legit scared of that. Yeah. So to them, of course, they have to say black lives matter. And I know that you see all the statistics and shit like that. I'm just saying. But you don't. I'm, you don't like. No, you but, don't see the statistics. Right. If you saw the statistics of. Black people being pulled over versus white people being pulled over. Black people getting killed versus white people getting like. Right. If, you saw, if the media showed you all the statistics, you'd be like, well, "Fuck!" You know, like mm-hmm. just black people going to jail, black people killing each other. Like, uh, it's 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 amazing, but they don't show those statistics. But yeah, like you're a smart man. <clears throat> like most of the people I know are smart people. Uh, yeah, black people are in danger. Right, <laughs> way worse than. 
Uh, like black people and white people do the same amount of crimes <clears throat> statistically. Yeah. Uh, and then, the same I mean, rate and they carry the same amount of drugs. They do the same amount of bad shit, but black people get targeted, searched, pulled out of their and car. The prison sentences like, are a lot longer. Pres- like all that shit, like way worse. Yeah, yeah. Like, and, and I'm not much of a stat guy. And no. I've seen a bunch of different stats and I've seen where it's just like, you know, white people get killed a lot more than black people from cops and shit. And, mm-hmm. and I'm not saying those aren't real and I'm not saying yeah. they aren't real. All I'm saying is for me to try to like, well, Black Lives Matter doesn't matter because mm-hmm. all lives matter. Yeah. Well, yeah, no shit. But again, I don't live in that fear. I've never had to live in that fear, so I can't imagine, you know, trying to yeah. trying to see it, you know, from that point of view. Yeah. And it's just like, like I saw a video the other day, and there was Black Lives Matter protesters, and I don't remember who the other protesters were, mm-hmm. and like the black. Um, uh, black people from the Black Lives Matter, they crossed the street and they were pretty much like a lot of rednecks and they like, gave each other hugs. Yeah, there was a peaceful pro- and like that's yeah. you know, that's I honestly believe in maybe just because I'm a huge optimist. I think that's how most people in America most are. Most people in America are like that. Yeah, and, and I really do, and I hope yeah. that's what it is, because that's what it's gonna take to get all yeah. over this fucking all this stupid shit. But there's still yeah. part of me that I feel and I just with all this shit, I just feel like there's just like a race war. Like it's just it's pending and I, I hate to feel that way, yeah. but, and especially, you know, like we said at the top of the episode that, you know, I'm having a kid and mm-hmm. I'm going to be a, a dad. I'm going to have a thing that I have to worry about, mm-hmm. you know, and I don't know. And there's a 50% chance it's going to be a black man. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, for sure. Baby. And so, yeah, this is why this shit is so important to me. Uh, but I'm just saying like, it scares me. Like even like my kid's not born yet and it's, it's something I love so much. And, and I always knew that was going to be because my mom was like, you know, it's, you know, shout out to mom and Nancy. She's like, once you have a kid, you'll understand how your dad and I feel about you and yeah. why we did certain things. We're always worried about you. And you know, I read yeah. something like when you're a parent, yeah. you know, you rip out part of your heart and you can really, you have a daughter, you rip yeah. out part of your heart. It's out there walking around for Absolutely. the rest of your life. And so to me to see this, I mean, it's, it's scary. It's fucking yeah. scary shit. And even before, like I knew J Pags was that I have a little niece. Yeah. And when, you know, Vito told me that, you know, B was pregnant. Like it just, it worries me. And I, I do, I really do have the hope. I think we're going to get it figured out. I, I really do. I, I absolutely do. I, I do. I, I think we'll get it figured out before it goes there. But there's always that part of you that sees the shit. I mean, Jesus, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, I got, I got people I know. I got people I work with. Like I can't relate because of the city I live in. Uh, there are cities where police brutality has been the norm. <clears throat> For decades and decades yeah. and decades, and uh, people are like, I don't understand why people are mad. Well, of course you're not going to understand why people are mad. Like you don't get frisk in the middle of your street, you know. Yeah. And like, I, I like I, at my station, ten of us, one of us is a Fox News guy, and he's like, I, I just don't understand. Like, well, yeah, you're, you're not going to understand. Right. But I know your temper, and I know if the police came to you in your neighborhood and was like, Hey, put your fucking hands up. Hey, get on the fucking ground, douchebag. And they fucking, you know, disrespected him and did shit like that mm-hmm. to him. And I, I, I just, I, like, like what we always talk about, what we always talk about is bringing people together and getting along with people and doing all mm-hmm. this stuff. Most people are in there, you know, and most people that, uh, the people that are demonstrating for Black Lives Matter, like I didn't understand, like I still, I've not researched Black Lives Matter. I don't understand what it's about, but I know about it is they like all people. They don't just like black people, but black people's lives are in jeopardy way worse than white people's lives. And that's what they're standing up for. But they it's still is around the board. Like we, we love everybody and we want, but most people are like, yeah, we, it's all love. Like we want to get better. And I think, uh, as far as moving forward, getting people better, young people with the internet and with knowing what's going on and information, under, information, education, uh, is going to beat everything else. Like, uh, you know, like Donald Trump and shit like that. Like, it's going to beat that. Like, it's everybody's better than that. They're smarter than that. I think there is a need for police reform. I think there is a need for uh, for change. And it's going to happen with education and uh, better leadership, hopefully. And But no, I... Uh, it's, it's all love. Like, yeah. I, I'm all about love. And... and, and yeah, yeah, the media. Fuck, if you watch Fox News, like I watch, I watch Fox News for a few hours that day, and I was 
like beside myself. Blow your head I was off. beside myself. I'm yeah. like, you're fucking kidding me. Like they're spinning shit and they're trying to put people against each other. Like most people know, like Orlando, the shootings in Orlando, bad. Most mm-hmm. people know that uh, the killings of police against innocent black people or any people are bad. But they also believe that, yeah, if you the cops getting killed are bad. Like most people are, understand all those things. It doesn't have to be, okay, black people want cops killed and white people want, like, it, no, it's not like that. It's like, not. Me, the Fox will spin that, but no, mm-hmm. most people think like that. Like it's all love. It's going to get better. Uh, the politicians and policy change. Dude, like I, I speak a lot of, uh, against cops because uh, I've had bad experiences with cops. I've been beat up with the cops. I've still never told that story on the podcast because I don't like to get that yeah. deep. And yeah. I know how if I tell that story, it's going to make me – I don't right. want to – it's yeah, we're no, fun, just have a fun podcast. Yeah. I, I know you know the story, but I, yeah. I got beat up by cops and uh, I fucking – 16 years ago, and it still bothers me. And if I tell the story, it's gonna make me react. Yeah, yeah, we don't, we don't want to get it. No, I do not. Yeah, but, so yeah, go ahead. Oh, but but uh, uh, I yeah, I don't want to get into that, but uh, <laughs> no, no, that's okay. Um, what I was gonna say, like, there's, there's two things, and there's a bunch of shit that we can go about, but. I'm sure most everybody, if you've ever been in school, uh, no offense people who are listening to this or haven't been in school, but you, you've, heard of the, you've heard of the 10-80-10, and it usually comes to like anything that you do. Yeah. Like 10% is the high, yeah. 80% yeah. is the middle, you know, yeah. and 10% is the low. And I think that like 80% of the country, I really do, is in the middle where they love both. Absolutely. And nobody can disagree that something needs to change. Now, I'm not saying if you know it needs to change on one side or the other, but something obviously needs to change. Yeah. 100%, I think most people can hear. But the worst part is that you hear uh, like 10%, like the stuff that you hear, you're hearing from that 10%. Yeah. And so, like, you know, that's why, like, you know, people think, you know, they see somebody posting was like, you know, you, where you post a picture of like the, the black flag with the blue stripes for cops. They don't, that doesn't mean they hate black people at all. Yeah. No. But, you know, and, and I don't think that. I'm just no. saying. It's just that you hear about the worst all the time and it yeah. sucks. And it's yeah. going to, uh, I, I got a good segue from that, but before I get there, uh, like two times he posted a um, this video on Facebook, and it was about a race video, and it was like I don't remember who this older chick was, but it's like she, but she like destroys racism in a minute, uh-huh. and it was something about I don't know if you saw it, but it was something about the fact like they were talking about like a race war or something, and she's just like, well, she's like, we're set, everybody is set up to be racist. Like yeah. There is only one race in this entire world, and it is a human race. Yeah. But you're, I mean, you know, like you see it everywhere. Like there's, you know, there's a difference between black people, white people, yellow people, yeah. purple people, you yeah. know, and you see that. And I just thought it was like really interesting. Was, I'll have to watch that. You know, you know, until we see that we we all are just the yeah. same people. And I, I don't want to get too big into this, but you can take this back pretty far. A lot of this shit is stem. The not, I don't think the police shootings. When you come to like, you start talking about Orlando and shit. A lot of that stems from like religion, and yeah. um, you know, like George Carlin said it best. There's been more people killed in the name of religion than mm-hmm. any other reason. Yeah. So you just and he named a bunch of shit, yeah. and it's true. I don't get deep into that. No, um, we don't have to. No, and I, I think you know we we've talked about this a lot. And the perfect segue to go back to it. Um, you know, um, the only thing that can beat this. Is love and Jim Jeffries says I that. Completely agree. Yeah, that. Jim Jeffries says that on his new stand-up, and yeah. I know you want to talk about it yeah. because it just recently came out. Yeah. This is Jim Jeffries, who's I think is he's in my top ten of favorite oh all-time God, comedians. So um, he has a bunch of stuff on Netflix. First of yeah. all, there's he only did two seasons of Legit. Yeah. If you have never watched it, yeah. it is absolutely fantastic. It's based off of his stand-up, so he has a, another. He has two stand-ups on Netflix that I'm aware of. One of them, um, his most recent one, it's called Jim Jeffries Free Dumb. Yeah. Uh, it's Free Dumb, but it's F-R-E-E-D-U-M-B. Yeah. Um, and it's fucking fantastic. And then he has another one, and it's um, uh, it's Jim Jeffries Bear. Yeah. And a lot of the legit episodes, are only half-hour episodes, mm-hmm. And it's it's fucking it has DJ Qualls. You know who that is? Yeah, skinny uh, dude. Yeah, skinny dude. Yeah. He plays in um, like Road Trip and yep. shit like that. But yeah, he, yeah, he plays in it. But a lot of those episodes are based off of his hour special fair. 
And so it's just, I don't know. I think it's kind of cool just to watch Bear. And um, another thing is, like, with Bear, like, usually when you see these shootings, he has a 14-minute bit on guns. He's against guns. He's an Australian comedian who's against guns. I love guns. Like, I have a couple guns at home. I know you have some guns. Yeah. Uh, but he makes some great points. And it's fucking great. So just listen to it. But then he talks about this freedom. And he's like, this may be, like, I don't remember the exact line you said, but it's like this may be the most hippie thing that I've ever said. But love is the only thing that's going to take us out of this. You know, Completely if, agree. you know, if somebody attacks, like just say the United States, and we get fucking pissed off, yeah. we start killing with people. Like it's, you know, it's just it's a vicious circle. And I think that's where we've been right, since absolutely. you know war started. Absolutely. You know, until we can just fucking stop and just. Yeah, I don't think it helps that there's borders. You know, there's in the United States, there's this country, and it's yeah. great to have different stuff. And I'm sure, like mm-hmm. the economy, you know. Um, the fucking flea market and shit, you know. I mean, even back when Indians were on the basics, you know, the, Indians, yeah, Native Americans. Sorry, you son of a bitch, racist fuck. As Joey Diaz says, <laughs> Joey Diaz says, take a chance, Columbus. Did. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, like, even they fought, and you know, it's part of human nature. But until the thing is, like you were alluding to it now, you know, like the generations coming up, like yes. the internet. You know, like the, the information is fucking so out there. Man. You know, and so I think I, it's going to take time, but I think it's I think it's going to end. You know, yeah. I think it's going to be a, a one line. I hope, I hope. Like I just, I it's just it's not good. Yeah, yeah so I'll, I'll talk for a little bit. Yeah, some of it I'm going to spew hate, um, but like you said, it's, love is going to carry everything. So I I think yeah, like we're all about love. We're mm-hmm. about bringing people together, and and we're in that area where most people are like most people aren't racist. Most people don't pick sides like this. I I have friends that do it out of the 10 people at my firehouse. Most of us are pretty close to where I'm at, but there is one guy who's like, no, fuck that. Like Donald Trump's the one like, Right. Uh, Trayvon Martin should have got killed, and everybody's right. just like, "Are you fucking crazy? Right. Like but, you're a crazy person." Yeah, but the thing about that is, I mean, yeah. like, yeah, I mean, you work with them, but you guys still come together and yeah. do your job. You know what I yeah, mean? We come so, together, like, you yeah. may not believe yeah. in like his beliefs, but you respect it, oh, and yeah. you're not fucking choking him out right. because no. of their kill. No. Yeah. You know? yeah, we could have murdered him a lot. Though. Yeah, not 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 yet. <laughs> not yet. But no, <laughs> but no. Every like, people we like every. That's that's what I'm saying. Like I, I don't have the news. I don't have I fucking cut cable, but the news <laughs> tries to scare you. Same with Pokemon. Like three dudes robbed a dude, took his wallet, took his cell phone. Out of the millions of millions of people, that's what the news said. Right. It said uh, criminals are targeting people playing Pokemon. To try to scare people. They want to scare people. They want to incite race riots and do all this stuff. Most people are right in the middle. Most people know what's going on. The younger people, they know what's going on. Uh, if you don't know what uh, the Young Turks are, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, check out the Young YouTube Turks channel. Man. If I watch the news, it's the Young, young Turks. Turks. Yeah. It's the Young Turks. Uh, <clears throat> they're all over it, but it, it, like me and Pags, we're all about love. Uh, we're all about moving forward. I think most people are about that. Like the 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 news like hammers millennials. Yeah, and they say, "Oh, these mother, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're voting for Bernie. They have no idea why they're voting for Bernie. Bullshit. They don't. You yeah. know, like." Uh, young people are smart, they're educated, and they're getting information not from Fox and CNN and local news. They're getting information from the internet. They're way smarter. They're better than us. They don't care about if people are gay or people are black or Puerto Rican, whatever. Like they're no, no, no. fuck Puerto Rican, <laughs> especially those Molina types. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, no, I know, I know what you're saying. No, Yo, and, and, and I know on the podcast, I've, I've been hard on. You know, yeah. like because I am hard on cops because of things I've seen, things I've been through. Uh, but no, honestly, like honestly, I'll, I'll talk. Uh, I, I I focus on the bad, you know. So yeah. let's say ninety nine percent of the cops are good. Uh, I've had bad experiences. People have bad experiences. You focus on police have murdered people and they've got away. They've executed people. It's it's happening. It happens every day almost. But that's still 1%. 1% of mm-hmm. the police in America. Like, I, I love cops. I got friends that are cops. Um, I'm, I'm too hard on cops sometimes. I, I know most cops don't want to hurt people, but that's what the, the news, the news they show, oh, these cops murdered these kids or whatever, or choked, whatever, you know. Uh, 
I'm, I'm too hard on cops. I shouldn't be that. Uh, I got respect for cops. They, they fucking put their lives on the line. Yeah. A lot of them want to make a difference. I shouldn't be so hard on cops because of bad experiences. Uh, I'm, I'm hard on cops, but most people aren't like like that. Like I fucking hate cops. Or most people are in the middle. And if if you listen to the Nasty and Friends podcast, we're gonna tell you about love, and we're gonna tell you about making things better. America's gonna be better. And it's going to keep getting better. We're going to get rid of these shitty politicians. Yeah. And uh, and I know this is a little bit of change up. From, uh, <laughs> is, I mean, we is. went deep, which I think is a good conversation to I, have. I agree. You know, and I mean, I think that's, uh, you know, it's not going to be all, you know, fun, no, fun but, and games no, no, every but, time. No, but, but most, most people are, are with us. Like, it's about mm-hmm. love and it's about, yeah. it's about that. It's not about hate. Like, you can't fight hate with hate. More violence. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Well, Hondo. I think the more people get educated, the more uh, it's going to change. And, and and I wanted to say that, like I, I was talking about police, uh, when I was at when I was working special ops, uh, I watched the full uh, press conference. The Dallas police chief. Oh, fucking shout out! I saw to him. him. Shouts out to him, man. Yeah, um, uh, I, I didn't see it, but I saw I saw highlights of it. Jesus so, Christ, man! Yeah. That's the type of motherfucker that should be running for fucking president. Yeah. And he said, you know, cops got our hands tied. Like, we, we're going off of policy. You know, policy is from the executive branch, yeah. legislative branch. Uh, we're just doing what we're told, and we're getting shit paid. Dallas firefighters, Dallas police are leaving uh, Dallas because they're getting starting off at like 40, 40 a year. Uh, yeah, it's fucking terrible. He's a fucking great speaker, great guy. Yeah, yeah. He's he gave been, shouts out to Dallas like, for being a poor kid in a poor community, and yeah, they and raised him up. And he's a yeah. I think there's chief. there's some like weird shit like with the son too. Like I think his son got I don't know if his son got like killed by cops or something like that. But he's gone through oh, a bunch of shit. Yeah. And he joined for solid, the right reason. To solid do, fucking. You dude. know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I agree. I want. No I, bullshit. I wish I knew his name to actually give him a proper yeah, shout out. Too, but um, I'm not gonna get my phone out. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean we're fucking running up. It's uh, it's midnight right now. Yeah. We've gone um, for about an hour and forty minutes. Um, probably some more shit that we can talk about. I say we get into some questions. Knock Let's that get some Q&A. Out. Let me, let me, let me make a peep. <laughs> I was wondering when you were gonna go again. <laughs> Let's get some Q&A. Uh, God damn, dude. Yeah, it's it's fucking going great, man. So once you go go pee pee, <laughs> dude. I like to bust that word out every like, especially in like when we're in like an adult conversation. So could you imagine if you? Uh, <laughs> like we're in the middle of talking about that Black Lives Matter. Like, hold on, Spicy, I have to pee pee. <laughs> I just think it'd be fucking funny as shit. So yeah, that's uh, that's you got some homework. Make sure you just try to use the word pee pee, whether it's actually having to go pee or to uh, male genitalia. Like, oh, you hit me in the pee pee. I just think it's a fucking funny ass word. So I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this. It's uh, said that we uh, went a little bit deep. Um, tonight, which I think is good. Um, you know, Spice and I, this is the stuff that we uh, we usually talk about off air. Um, I mean, it's not like all the time. I mean, we dick around, you know, more than not. But, uh, you know, this shit, like, we would have talked about this tonight regardless if we were recording or not. And it's a great conversation. You know, I love seeing his point of view. Um, you know, and uh, maybe one day he'll tell the story about, uh, you know, him and the cops. Uh, maybe not. If he's going to heat him up, we don't want that. We don't need that negativity around here. But, uh, you know, it's also nice to know to see his point of view of things, you know, for sure. So, um, you know, I've never had to deal with that. Like, I love cops. So, um, you know, it's, it's a hard job. I, I can't imagine. So, shouts out to cops. You know, shouts out to fucking nurses, anybody in the medical field. Shouts out to firemen. Shouts out to uh, any soldier, marine, seaman, coast guard, whoever the fuck. Anybody who's ever served. Um, you know, it's fucking awesome. So, nice. Uh, <laughs> Got your pussy there? Yeah, hey, I got my pussy. Uh, <laughs> real quick, shouts out Black Lives Matter. Uh, to me, it seems like anybody who's against it, it's just weird to me. You know, like, uh, I feel like, fuck Black Lives Matter or whatever. It's, like, immediately racist, you know? Like, I know, if you don't understand it, uh, research it, whatever, they're not against other people. But, yeah, 
And I know some people that are against it. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Let's get to some fucking questions. You need to lighten up this mood. Yeah, let's do it. We're let's all. Do it. We don't usually. We don't usually go on against. I didn't think we were gonna well, like I said earlier, like when you were pissing, I was like, this is stuff that you and I would have had a conversation on regardless. Yeah. Like, I feel, yeah. you know, I mean, it's, let me it's important. It's big right now. Yeah. No. Yeah. Big. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, this is from Mama Pack Nasty. So, That's on Mama Pack Nasty. I did see that she uh, sent a bunch of questions. So she's like, what is a few of your best childhood memories? And it's, a, it's one of mine is her mom, my grandma Karen, always had music on. So it's one of her childhood memories. Uh, what do you think, Spicy? Which one of your few of your best childhood memories? Oh. Do you have like an overall like thing? Like we always listen to music, or was it just like a couple of good stories or <laughs> No, I don't know. When I when I think about my childhood, I think about uh, my mom was always good to me. Yeah. Uh, no, I always think about that. Like mm -hmm. she, she would do anything for me. Uh, so I can't name like a certain thing. Right. But I just remember everything my mom did for me to make me a better person, to be good to me, make me get dark, <laughs> and that right. subject yeah. too. Uh, but I won't. All right. Well, uh, I have two things. We'll probably just go off of uh, a little bit of rail. Um, first and foremost, I, I just remember laughing a lot. Yeah. Like uh, all, all the time. Like I think, like the. I mean, I don't think I know one of the reasons why I love comedy so much is that I've said it before. But my dad let us watch George Carlin when we were ten years mm -hmm. old. You know, we always laugh. We're always messing around. Um, and the second thing, don't know if my mom really wants to talk about it, but I'm gonna just kind of get the highlights for it. Do it. Uh, <laughs> Um, like one of my favorite memories is we were always loved and I know like that's a little weird but no, for big. people who don't know my parents were actually uh, they got a divorce about when I was in junior high early mm -hmm. high school um, just some a lot of personal shit that I, I won't go into just out of respect for them um, they ended up getting married again once shit got figured out um, but the whole time through that obviously it hit his kids pretty hard they were respectful to us they were respectful to each other um, even when they weren't living in the same house, we still had supper as a family every night. They never fought in front of us. So to go through something like, I mean, you hear about this horrible shit. Oh, I yeah. mean, you know, um, another thing, there's nobody ever else involved. So it's not like, you know, one of them was cheating on the other one um, at all. So even like when they were, you know, separated for, they separated and they divorced um, for quite a while. I mean, as a kid, I feel like it was quite a while. It probably really wasn't that long. Um you know, there was nobody ever else. And like I said, it was just, there's always love and laughter. And I think those two things, are the thing that like, I want my kids to have, you know, more than anything. And so it's just, I, you know, I've, I've had some cousins who their parents got divorced. I've heard some other friends and it's, it's usually pretty bad. And the fact that, you know, this wasn't, um, you know, it was awesome. So those are my favorite childhood memories. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Shout out to my mom, Penny Nasty. Fuck, good answer, dude. Yes, yeah. Chris. <laughs> I told you, we're going down, son. Going down those rabbit holes. What do you got? Nope, not that one. Is that one for... No, no, no. Oh. Uh, this one says, <clears throat> Spicy, are you a traveling man? <laughs> Blame it. <laughs> so, I don't even know where to go with this one. Right, it's, so, an, it's an inside joke. Yeah, it's an inside joke. Like, that's why I said why I was and everybody's like, what the fuck? I don't get it. Yeah, it's an inside joke. I don't know where to go with it. So I mean I think the only way you need to go is you need to tell the story. I say, um, you tell the story, yeah. we can end on this, like end on this story. It's yeah. kind of kind of a long story. Yeah. Um we save the questions, you can bust them out with our other guests. You know, if you want to, we'll save them until later. I know we've only got to a couple, but it's, yeah. it's a nice, pretty good podcast. It's getting pretty late, so they need to edit. And I know when you drive, used to come back and stuff like that. So yeah. I see you tell the story. I, I mean, if you're good with that. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I mean, right. hell, I don't know if I want to drop the name. No, you don't, you don't, don't, don't drop any names, but you can still tell the story. And it's fun. Because I think it's still fun. I mean, it's funny yeah. if you know the person, but even if you drop the name, most people are going to know who this person is. <laughs> And so the people who already know the story are going to know, so it's going to yeah. be funny. It's a fucking great story. 
in and of itself. All right, so <laughs> when I was <laughs> all right, so spit it out. Fuck this. It's tough. It's tough to tell. Like when I can't. All right, so we'll just give him a name. Call him Brad or something. All right, so a few years ago, me and Brad, we left. We went to Chicago. It was an army trip. We got orders to go to a school. <laughs> the hardcore listeners are going to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. So me and Brad, we go to Chicago for a week. We take a course. Uh, and during the course, like this individual is tough to be around for expen- ex- extended periods of time. And if you're listening, Brad... Just being honest, man. Just being honest. Love, I mean, there's no love loss. No, 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 no love loss at all. So, I'm trying to think how deep into the story I can go, because I can talk about this for 30 minutes. So anyway, so like the first night we're in town, we go downtown Chicago, we hit up uh, Geno's East. Uh, on the way back, before we took the train, we, we hit up uh, Hooters. And at Hooters, there's a big table, and it's full of uh, some people who are gay, some people who are transsexual, and they get into a fight. The fight breaks out. They're throwing chairs. So the next day, uh, we're with other Army firefighters from Cali, Houston, Washington, and I think Wisconsin. And my buddy's like, uh, hey, yeah, long, last night was great. Things were good, but we saw these faggots fighting. And I said, yo, Brad, you can't say that. Like, that's fucked up. Like, you got to understand, like, you you can't say shit like that. That's the same thing as dropping an N-bomb to people. Like, you can't say the F, F word, if you will. Right. You can't say faggot, right? <laughs> like, you can't say nigger. Like, you, you, right. Like, it offends people. So, uh, during the trip... My man, he's a good dude. Uh, in high school, he got in a real bad car accident, dented his head, smashed his head. He still has a dent in his head, and he got life lighted out to the emergency room, so he's a little off. Uh, I'm not going to tell the whole story, but I'm going to try to shorten it down. Right so, yeah. so You're getting that. Yeah, I'm getting it. So, <coughs> during the week while we're in Chicago, we get, we get to a couple places, and... Uh, <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm laughing because I know what's coming up. <laughs> so, uh, I'll, I'll skip forward. So one of the worst play, one of the worst times we're at uh, Joe's Crap Shack <laughs> outside of Chicago, and uh, my dude's like, Brad, I, I want to get my my dude Brad is like, I want to get one of those big ass uh, fish bowls because there's a shark on it. And he's telling me, he's like, hey, I'm going to get the shark, and I'm putting it on my finger. When I go into class the next day, when we take the final, I'll be like, I can't take the final because I got the, this big-ass shark on my finger. And I'm just kind of laughing. And then he's telling the waitress, hey, I want to get one of those big-ass ceramic uh, turtles that's hanging up in uh, Joe's Crab Shack. So he won't let it go. She's like, I can't sell you that. She's like, get the manager. I mean, these things are like the big fucking they're ginormous huge. ones hanging they're from huge. the ceiling. They're yeah. huge. They're ceramic. They're not inflatable. So the manager comes up, and he's like, uh, I can't sell you that. And he's like, I'll sell it to you for $1 million. <laughs> Whatever. So they go back and forth for a long time, 10 minutes. Finally, I'm like, Brad, you can't get it. Like, if we can't fit it on the plane back. It's not inflatable. It's ceramic. <laughs> So that episode ends at the end of the night. The lady's like, uh, our waitress is like, how uh, <laughs> how did you do like Chicago, whatever? Uh, he's like, yeah, it was good. You know, everything was great. We saw these faggots fighting at Hooters. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my. She looks mortified. <laughs> She's mortified. She's like, which, I mean, I think Brad doesn't mean any disrespect. No, no, not at all. No, I, mean, I, don't, I don't think so either. Yeah, no, and I think if you know this person, like, you would know. I don't honestly think it's any disrespect. Yeah, no, it's, just, it's no disrespect. It's just the way he is. And I, I said, I changed the subject as quickly as possible. Yeah, <laughs> for like, sure. Hey, you know, you know, 
and I told them like, hey, look, you can't say that, these type of things. So the last the last day uh, we're in Chicago, uh, we go to we go to class. It's like fire inspector too. We get there, they're like, hey, go back to your hotel rooms, study. You're gonna come back, take the test. My buddy Brad is like, uh, let's go to uh, <laughs> the firehouse from the dude we met at lunch a couple days ago. And I'm like, I don't know what dude you're talking about. <laughs> and he's like, oh, we're going to go. From Hooters? The guy you met at Hooters? Or no, Hooters? I don't know where we met this time. Okay. We, along the road, in Chicago, and they show love, dude. Yeah. So, like, the Navy for Pier, military. almost every for military, uh-huh. almost everything at Navy Pier is free. Yeah. Almost everywhere you go, they take care of military. Free bus rides. Shouts out Chicago, they take they take care of you. Yeah. All that shit. I think subway, bus rides, all mm-hmm. they take care of you. Maybe pier. So we get to uh, we're in the lobby and that's like that connects to the story earlier. Uh you call me and you're like, hey, she yeah. back said yes. I fucking tear up. <laughs> so at the same time I'm like, try not to kill Brad. <laughs> like try not to choke him to death. And then yeah. I'm I'm fucking tearing up because of you and J Pags. So we, we we go to this fire so we're I'm like oh, fuck it, whatever. We're in this rental car and we go to this firehouse. He's he's like, I don't know where it's at. We get to the fire we get to a firehouse. They have a at the front entrance they have a like a bulletproof window mm-hmm. with a like a speaker. Uh my, our buddy Brad isn't known for his speaking abilities, so he's like, "Hey, we met a firefighter, and uh, this and this and this and this and this." And they're like, "Sir, are you in trouble? Are you? Are you? Is this an emergency?" And he's like, "Oh, you know." So I step up and I'm like, "Hey, listen, no, we met a firefighter. They said come by the fire station. We're just trying. To, we're firefighters too. We're trying to take a tour of the fire station." Yeah. So come on in. So we go in, take a tour, they give us some shirts. Uh, we're in the room with two chiefs. And the one guy that you met, that I, you, I know you don't remember me, but that Brad met wasn't there, right? Absolutely not. It was probably <laughs> a different fire station in a different city. Like, this is a suburb of Chicago. So anyway, so uh, at the end of the meeting, I'm already feeling uncomfortable. And uh, our buddy Brad is like, shakes hands with the broad Shakes hands with the dude. When he shakes hands with the dude, he says, "Are you a traveling man?" And the guy's like, "Oh, I, I guess so. Maybe sometimes, sometimes I am." <laughs> and I know, like, some shit's going down. So, <laughs> because you're just, you're just like, "What the?" Fuck? Yeah, I'm like, "What the fuck?" So everybody's uncomfortable. We all shake hands. We get back in the car before I even shut the car, the rental car. Shut the door. Shut the door of the rental car. I'm like, "What the fuck was that, Brad?" <laughs> He's like. What? I'm like, the traveling man shit. I'm like, like, what the fuck is it? <laughs> and he's like, oh, it means, are you a, a Freemason? And I said, well, are you a Freemason? He's like, no. And I said, why the fuck would you say that to that man? Like, why would you say that? He's like, oh, my uncle is a Freemason. I used to say it. I'm like, let's get the fuck on. <laughs> you got pop smoke. Yeah, you got ASAP, pop smoke. son, man. So anyway, that's, that's what the question is. Uh, <laughs> So, are you a traveling man? I am not a traveling man. <laughs> it's a long story. It'd be a better story if I told you, told it to you in person. Oh, no. It's but, a great fucking story. Oh, I love it. Oh, thanks, I love it. <laughs> Shouts out, Brad. <laughs> For sure. Okay, you know who you are, you son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, man. Well, um, is there any final things? I know it's a fucking, it's a way different podcast than what we usually do. Um, which I like it. You know, we're uh, not here to do the same thing. It's, uh, it's great. It's fucking great news. Yeah. And yeah. fuck it, took this trade all over the fucking yeah. place. So, um, you know, other besides the basics, you guys know Twitter, Instagram, um, it's at Nasty and Friends, Facebook page, facebook.com slash Nasty and Friends. Um, you keep me up, email us questions. I know we didn't get a lot to it tonight, but I want to try to get this up as soon as possible. We still got to fucking edit. It's uh, Saturday, Saturday morning at 12 16. Yeah, it's after midnight. We're almost two hours and we got a lot of work to do. So, um, like I said, just need to get this shit done. Um, appreciate, again, love the fuck out of you guys. Buying the shirts. I know there's people um, buying shirts all around this country. You know, supporting us is fucking great. 
Uh, anything else you got to say? Um, you know, it's just a good conversation. I, no, like, no. I love this podcast. It's, I've, it's I've, probably I've, one of my favorite ones I've done. I don't think, you know, just as I'm like personally, I think it's yeah. a good conversation, especially like the first half hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For sure. No, I'm good, dude. Much love, love to everybody. It's all love. Yeah. That's what this is about. Yeah, absolutely. So you guys, we love the fuck out of you. Seriously, keep sending in your questions. Um, you know, just remember, life is simple. Don't be a dick. Night, sluts. Hi, Rob Wong here with your weekly animal update. The most distinctive feature of the African wild dog is its beautifully mottled fur, which makes this canine very easy to identify. The fur of the wild dog is red, black, white, brown, and yellow in color with random pattern of colors being unique to each individual. It is also thought to act as a type of camouflage, helping the wild dog to blend into its surroundings. The African wild dog also has large ears, a long muzzle, and long legs with four toes on each foot. This is one of the biggest differences between the African wild dog and other canine species as they have five. African wild dogs are highly sociable animals that gather in packs of generally between 10 to 30 individuals. There is a strict ranking system within the pack, led by the dominant breeding pair. The long large intestine of the African wild dog means that they have a very efficient system for absorbing as much moisture from their food as possible. This gives these canines an advantage in such arid climates as they do not need to find such a regular supply of water. African wild dogs are therefore able to go long periods of time without needing to drink. Unlike many other carnivores, African wild dogs kill their prey by starting to bite it when it is still alive. Although this may sound cruel, the animal actually dies more quickly and less painfully than if it was killed in the generally preferred way. Signing off for Pagnasty and Brown, this has been a weekly animal update. As always, brought to you by John Jameson and Sons, I'm Rob Long. Go fuck yourself.